This episode brought to you by Experimenting on Animals, because that never goes wrong. Hey, everybody, we're watching Deep Blue Sea, and you're listening to Miscast Commentary. You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Two guys have seen way too many movies and have way too much time on their hands. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Now here's your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Hey everybody, welcome to Miss Cast Commentary. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we are excited to bring you a movie celebrating its 20th anniversary, released in 1999. <laughs> That's good, you did the math right You did that math, solid. Uh, um, we, uh, I don't know, is it worthy of being a movie celebrating its 20th anniversary? Probably not. No. But you know what, we're just going to have some fun. Let's exactly. Watch, let's just watch a shark movie. Fucking A. I can't believe we're watching this before we're watching Jaws, but here I know. we go. I know, it's funny. Um, but you know, Jaws isn't celebrating a milestone anniversary this I year, know, so I don't not. really know what to tell you. Um, yeah, we got LL Cool J, we got Thomas Jane, we got uh, friggin' Sam, Sam Jackie. Jackson. We've got a lot of people. We're going to run into a lot of people in this one, and there's only way to run into them, and that's to press play. Now. So we're on it. Um, right off the bat, we got to remember, we got to pay homage to the man. Rennie Harlan directed this movie. Oh my God. Wait, why did you say that before? I said before to him, I was like, why the fuck? Why are we watching Blue, Deep Blue Sea? Uh, like, two words. yeah, if it's, yeah, the two words should be, are your automatic in Rennie Harlan or Paul Verhoeven. Fucking right. Those on. automatically get you in the, in the door. Uh, but here we are. We are doing, uh, yeah, just a crazy ass weird shark movie. Uh, he did. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, obviously. Uh, Die Hard 2, Adventures of Ford, Fair, Ford Fairlane, and Cliffhanger, Cutthroat Island, The Long Kiss Goodnight, Driven. Actually, Long Kiss Goodnight is the reason why uh, Sam Jackson did this movie. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Driven, The Exorcist, Exorcist, The Beginning, The Covenant, 12 rounds, so you can see if things didn't go great for him after a certain point. Um, he did The Covenant? Yeah. That's oh. that, the, all the boy witches. Right, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Um, it's so, like The Craft, only with dudes. Mm-hmm. This Fucking is, Rennie Harlan. Where's he been lately? Uh, 12 rounds, I think. That was, <laughs> was that the latest one? That was, that was the, the WWE last, one. Uh, yeah, I believe so. That's the John Cena one? Yeah, yeah one okay. of them. I don't know. I don't know. This is a weird. This is them trying to uh, rip off uh, like the Jaws feel right. like, of yeah, the yeah, Janet yeah. Oh, kind yeah. of thing. Uh, but this has more of a piranha feel, if yes. I were to yes. if I were to say something. Oh, is that... Is that Stifler? No. Oh, no, it's not. Stifler. It's just a white person, you oh. racist. She looks good, though. She looks aight. Mm-hmm. She's, she's a little just skinny. I like just having a little uh, little sailboat. Sailboat party. We're having a party. Yeah, they just tell you right to wherever we ate. You, you know, <laughs> this is what I need someone to tell me while yeah. I'm at a party. Hey, we're at a party, man. Solid. Hey, are we partying or what? Mm. Yeah, yeah, we, maybe. Yeah, That's usually when the booger sugar party. comes out. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of wine. They think it's blood. Yeah. Sharks cannot tell the difference between wine and blood. I was just kidding. Like, say. what the fuck? Like, what? As if they see it. Not They don't April. sense the blood, right? These no. days, oh, there it is. There's blood. Yeah. Ah, blood. Uh, That's not going to be anything. Well, no, these are different sharks, though. That seems oh, like a high end catamaran. Like, it looked oh. like, a, like, a, like a good sailboat. I was like, I didn't know that a catamaran even had like a. Uh, like had a fucking steering. I know those. It's not the word. The helm is what I'm thinking yeah. of. Thank you. I was having a hard time. I didn't want to disappoint you. All good. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't. I don't pay attention. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> um, I was getting trouble. I'm always like the floors are like it's the deck. I'm like oh yeah. well yeah. So uh, this movie was written by uh, Donna and Wayne Powers. They wrote the Italian Job. Okay. Uh, the remake of the Italian oh, Job. Oh shit! And <laughs> yeah, they waste no time in showing you some shark in this. Good. One. Good. Let's that get was, right into it. I don't another, remember this movie at all. I don't remember I, one thing. I why, remember one thing. Yeah. That's why I still want to see the Meg. Yeah, I could go it's for it. It's just like, I, again, it's just I like dumbness. Satan. 
I think he's cool. I like Statham. I like also just I like dumb monstery crap. You know, I like watching, uh, you know, like Sharktopus versus Terracuda. Oh my like, god! Yes, have you, I have Piranha on uh, DVD that I haven't watched yet. I'm I have, so jazzed it's with the the original and, or yes. the okay. No, 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 I have no, the no, no, no. The remake. Oh, I have the both remakes here. The, the remake is killer. Oh, they're fantastic. 3DD not as good. No, but it but was still fun. For, oh, so killer. Boom. Uh, Tom Jane. I'm Tom Jane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Tom Jane, man. Tom Jane. I like Tom this was, Jane, actually. This was actually his breakout movie. Really? This was like he hadn't done. He was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. Right. Not the TV show. Uh, he was in The Crow City of Angels. He had a, an almost uncredited part in Face Off. Uh, he was in really, Bo- yeah. Uh, but he was in like he was in Boogie Nights in a small role, Thin Red Lines in a small role, Magnolia in a small role. Then he becomes the pun like he does this. He becomes the Punisher after that. Uh, he was in The Mist. He was in Hung. Uh, he 1922. Was in, yeah, he was in. The, I feel like he's the in a Predator, lot of, which a lot I of actually s- liked better than I thought. Really? Yeah, oh, you saw it? No, not the. Yeah, no, the one with him in it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Key Peel, not Peel, but uh, oh, that's not Keegan the one I'm Michael thinking. Key and... I was thinking Predators, the one with uh, which one is it? The yeah, one the with... one, the one directed by Buddy from. No, Predator. that's not one thing. I'm thinking the one with um, uh, Adrian Brody and uh, oh Fishburne yeah, no stuff. fucking that fuck one. that. Oh no, I enjoyed that movie. Holy Christ! Oh, like of all the ones, look at him there. He is. Yeah, we get some sweet. There's Nick Cage. Oh, what's what was she <laughs> in? Uh, she's in stuff. Who is um, that? Uh, Saffron Burroughs. Uh, she was in uh, Agents of Shield, Mozart in the Jungle, Boston Legal, The Bank Job, Rain Over Me, and the the wonderful Wing Commander. That's Ronnie Cox, who does not there have he, is. A, he does not have a line in this movie. What? He obviously has been cut. Like whatever he was supposed to be doing was cut out. Uh, there was a prevailing theory that the role, like, because uh, Sam Jackson was, I guess, famously offered the role of uh, the LL Cool J plays in this, and he turned it down. He didn't want to play the. Then they offered him the shark, and then so uh, yeah, motherfucker, so, chomp, so, chomp. So the prevailing theory is that he was then offered Ronnie Cox's role, and then the, but right. he was like, uh, so they're like, oh, we're gonna yeah. bring him, and they was like, and then any lines he did have just ended up on the cutting room floor. What the fuck? How dare you, dirty? Yeah, you can't do Ronnie Cox. Do not do Ronnie Dick Cox. Cox. It's hard. This makes me think it's a Paul Verhoeven movie. Not maybe. Oh, what oh, the hell? I've never seen Rennie Harlan and Paul Verhoeven in the same room before. Let's put that out there. Holy shit! Uh, so what's the deal here? Well, where are yeah. they going? Okay, so what we're going to a weird shark, uh, st- like studying place underwater place place. Mm, okay. Right? Is he the backer? Is he like the he is, financial? Yes. He's running the tests. Yeah. He's not running the tests. He is the runs the company. She runs the tests. Right. Okay. Right. right. But he's she, the money man. Yeah. Yeah. She kind of reminds me of the the curly haired girl from uh, uh, Bug Bugs Bug oh, movie. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. She does. Starship mean, Troopers. Yes. For Hoven as well. Right. Kind of yeah. the same. Yeah. Again, they're the same person. They fucking probably but, are. Yeah. Um. There's actually a really interesting revelation in this movie. I'll get into later on because, like, I don't want to spoil everything, especially because we, neither of us really remember the movie that well. Um. But so is that Waterworld? Are they going to Waterworld? Yeah, dry land is not a myth. <laughs> I've seen it. It's about to sink. I mean, that's why they fly in. They just come there and tell people that dry land is not a myth. And then they're like, okay, see you guys later. And then when they leave, people are like, well, where did the helicopter come from? Dry land, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, Don't you're going to find that out. Myth? You're going to find that out in that Walking Dead movie that they're making. Are they? They're doing um, several, apparently, movies that will air on AMC. And they're going to be like expanded universe of The Walking Dead. And the first one is going to star Andrew Lincoln, who, no way. who everybody thinks is dead. dead. But at, you see at is the end of his episode, guy? no, you see at the end of his last episode that he gets rescued by a helicopter. Oh. And so now you're going to learn what he's all about. Cool. So, yeah, it's... Um, I, so I, there was a plan to him yeah. leaving, right? It yeah. wasn't just like, I want to leave. Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day because yeah. in the comic... Something happens with Rick Grimes. That that shark looks really good. Is that CG or is that? I a think shark? that one was CG. Uh, they did make it looks good. They did make full on uh, animatronic sharks though. 
I think that, that was an animatronic shark. Cause that was pretty fun good to me. It may have been, uh, but there were ones that could physically swim and stuff like that. They actually had like, en- like jet engines attached to them and things like this. That girl's hella skinny. Look at her arms. Mm-hmm. This girl ain't even like put fucking have a sandwich lady. That girl reminds me a little bit of the, uh, the blonde girl from the matrix. Who's like got two lines. Like you understand copper tap, yep. like that kind of thing. It's probably her. Yeah, the plane, the plane. Yeah, it's just like a vague European look. Right. It's just like, yeah, she might be from Iceland or Romania. Short hair is, lo- is totally like European. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Oh, look at this, eh? This mm-hmm. reminds me. Yeah, it does kind of, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like Marine Land or some shit. Look at these up there. There's, there's oh, a okay. shark. Yeah. Phil, De- uh, Phil Demers, by the way, reach out to us. We still want to interview you. He's a local guy who was the whistleblower from Marine Land, and I want to talk to him so fucking That would badly. be awesome. The only problem is I legitimately reached out to him, offering to interview him on our show, thinking, hey, we'll give him a spot to have his voice, only to find out he's been on, like, Joe Rogan's yeah, really. podcast. Like, it, Joe Rogan's podcast is one of the biggest things on the planet. No, 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 and I'm no, like, no. oh, okay. No, okay, wait, second, smaller wait a second. So he's done some... Light TV, yeah. Maybe you know something that that Joe Rogan. What's his? I don't never heard of him before. Yeah. He's done a lot of low end stuff. Why don't you come with the big boys? Uh, Why don't see? you swim with the big sharks, dog? Oh, well done. Yeah. Oh, uh, see, this is why I need you because yeah. I do not have the. Uh, I do not have the self-confidence to be our booker. <laughs> and like, <laughs> so all I ever do is reach out to people and go, hey, you think maybe you want to come and talk to us for a couple of minutes? You talk to your, I would call it out of, yo, you talk yeah. to your agent? Yeah. You got something real big on the pipeline here. You want to be something? You want to be fucking nothing? <laughs> we part of the MCU? He's yeah. like, whoa, of course. And then he finds out it's miscast commentary universe. Yeah. Hey, he thinks he's going to be the new vision or some shit. Well, look, mm-hmm. at the, look at the handsome Tom Jane. That uh, license plate is the same license plate they pull out of the one shark in Jaws. In Jaws. Uh, a lot of Jaws things. We'll get to them as uh, we go through the movie. There are a lot of Jaws uh, like homages. Homages and Easter eggy kind of things ah, and whatnot. Is this, what, what company made this? V, v, it was a big V. They know. did uh, Matrix. Vision. Viacom. Viacom. Or whatever. Valerian. Yeah, exactly. Valerian. Valerian. V- oh. <laughs> um, Chimera. Like, Chimera. It's called Chimera yeah. Pharmaceuticals is what Sam Jackie <laughs> works for. That's what it's called. Oh, perfect. That's what you just said, yeah. Oh, I like it very much. Um, I was... Uh, I've, my favorite all-time line about uh, this movie, uh, spoken by Paul F. Tompkins, it was on another podcast, where he's like, so what is the uh, status, uh, the stats on shark movies? Still just the one good one? <laughs> 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 it's, no way, man. What do you see some L. Cool J in a pair oh, this This movie's one. fantastic. Uh, so what, what, why are they fucking with these sharks? They are, so the basic idea. For war. Uh, no, not for war. They are trying to cure. Um, like shark dement- No, dementia and Alzheimer's and stuff like that. And there is something within a shark's brain that actually fights that stuff off. Right. And scientifically that was, or they believed like that. That was a thing. They believed that to be true at the time. Uh, and then in this movie, they've basically, they're like, oh, their brains aren't big enough to harvest what we need. So we've taken these guys and we've altered them and we've made their brains bigger and they make super smart sharks. And then Michael Rappaport has to deal with some <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> He's got to talk and I can't wait to see him. Only mm. because we saw him before yeah. when you're making sure the movie yeah. worked. Did you see him and on the guest like, book? You've you seen the, the show, the guest book? No. It's a great show. I think what you'd like that? it a lot. It basically, it's a show that takes place in a vacation home. Uh, and it's the people who signed the guest book telling their story of their time. That's Aida Totoro, John Totoro's sister. And she's, um, I've seen her in other yeah, stuff. Yeah, she's in Sopranos. There you go. Sopranos, that's it. Yeah. She's a big character. Yeah. And she's Tony's uh, she's sister. Tony's sister, yeah. That's right, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, um, what was I saying now? You fucking, I hate it. The turtle always <laughs> <laughs> throw me off. Um, You'll see. There's uh, Stellan Skarsgård. You were talking about the sharks. Yeah, no, I was talking about lots of things. You are talking about uh, how sharks mate. Yeah, they look the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even have videos of that? Like in nature shows and shit? I'm they sure go there like too deep or something. They, yeah. they never find them banging. Yeah. They've got whales banging, dolphins banging. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was talking about the guest book. Michael yeah, Rappaport yes. just reminded me. So anyways, they're at a... It was banging. You're, in a, you're you. in a guest house. And then so every story, there is a central cast, but they're not 
they're never the focus of the story. They're always like the outlying right. like events of the story. And then it's just the people who have come to have their vacation. And like, there's an episode. It's like fantasy where, Island or some yeah, shit. There's an episode where the one guy, all he wants to do is have like, um, uh, like VR sex and stuff like that. And it's like a hurt on his marriage. There's an episode where Michael Rappaport invites his whole family, like his mom and dad and stuff to, uh, to this place. So he could uh, reveal to them that he's a cross dresser. And like, so it like, and it sounds like fantasy Island. It's a lot. It's, it's not because it's very, it's very local. You know what it's more like? It's like if fantasy Island met my name is Earl. Okay. That's a very, actually a dude from my name is Earl is in the show. Oh, okay. So, um, but it's a lot of like white trashy kind of people around them. I I think you'd get a kick out of it. And the the first season was even better. There's a lot of, uh, I, I don't even know. I think it's a TBS show. It was on like CMT here. Okay. But uh, like My there's favorite channel. Yeah, there, there's like an episode where um, Jenna Fisher from The Office is like the nurse to like this Alzheimer's Which is Jenna guy. Jenna Fisher, Pam? Pam, yeah. What? And uh, she is, and yeah, she ends up like having to pretend to be the wife of this Alzheimer's guy. She says she's like the nurse or something like that. And then he's like super racist and you find out he's like a, like a member of the clan. And it's, there's a lot. Right. Like, it's, it's hard to go into like the nuance of the right, comedy right. by of just course. describing yes, it. Of course, yes, yes. Um, it doesn't sound like it's, but yeah, yeah I hear you. It doesn't yeah. sound funny, but you're telling me it is. So maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, that was, that's like at the Star Wars uh, hotel. Yeah. I'm... Uh, you know what I'm looking forward to, actually, too? We talked a little bit about that. Oh. There's another, there's a, uh, at Epcot, they're going to have a space restaurant. And you go in, and again, it's going to be very much like the Star Wars Hotel. All the windows are like you're on like a, uh, like a base, like a, a base, like orbiting the moon type thing. Oh my so God, see, there's like, buddies. Sorry, yeah, there's a, a young Stellan Sky yeah, Star. Yeah, everybody's in this fucking thing, yeah. right? Uh, Dr. Jim Whitlock. So they have a restaurant yeah. in Epcot that's going to be like the hotel. Yeah, it won't be like, well, I mean, it, it'll be. Not like, it, no, but, but it's it, similar in the sense the it's, windows are screened. Yes, and, it's in our solar system, though. So, like, you would see, like, things. That's that, cool. Like, if you were in our space. Right. Right. Whereas over there, you'll see, like, fucking, like, the dual sons of Tatooine, kind of. whatever. Oh, that kind of shit. That's kind of yeah, neat, yeah. though, man. So, uh. I'm sure you're right. It was like Alzheimer's. They're curing Alzheimer's. Yeah, Alzheimer's, yeah. It's shark brain DNA. Yeah. Which, but since this movie has come out, they have actually disproven that theory. Oh. So this Hopefully this movie didn't help disprove that. Yeah, this movie's all bullshit. Um, <laughs> it was totally yeah, real. Now, now, you know, now I can't even. I can't even take this movie seriously now no. that it hasn't made a major scientific impact on I, the humanity. I'm legitimately freaked out by how much like nobody looks young in this movie, but everybody looks younger and yes. it's throwing me off. You're right. Like Tom They're, Jane doesn't look like Tom Jane. N- n- Sam, nobody oh. does. They all look weird. Sam Jackson would, if he just shaved his head. Yes. Like he would just look exactly, exactly like he did any other fucking day. He's doing uh, you know, the Hitman's bodyguard. They're doing the Hitman's bodyguard's wife or whatever it is. Oh. The Hitman's wife's bodyguard or whatever. I didn't even see that movie um it's supposed to be pretty good apparently good enough to get a sequel to make so a sequel yeah um, good for right it's about the fucking ryan reynolds eh? it took him a yeah. long time of climbing man good mm-hmm. for you buddy they're talking about now how to work uh deadpool into the mcu and they're uh like they're tr- they're developing what the next thing is going to be and they're talking about maybe including him in the next spider-man movie cool as his like entry because like him and spider-man have like a relationship yes in, like in the comics and stuff i think it's about as easy yeah to write in deadpool as anything yeah. all you need to do is start a movie and then suddenly deadpool leans forward into the camera and is like hey yeah yeah i'm yeah. in this yeah, and then I'm boom here. there's deadpool i'm here now yeah or even just do that in the trailer yeah and just so then you don't have it like you'd yeah because i know they won't want to be bring... nice for a surprise oh. that they never told you which they can't you know that's fuck, what i man, that's like. all i wanted out of it and that suddenly was... you're watching the movie and holy fuck there's yeah. deadpool to me that's the only thing that was missing or the only kind of surprise that was missing from Endgame. Right. Because you got a lot of like other characters and stuff like that. But the one thing I would have liked, like, is had you had like the Defenders in there, or if you had right. like, Wolverine show up or all that. Wolverine uh, was purposefully left out of. I was just reading articles today that he was purposefully, uh, purposefully let out of. Left out of <laughs> having a hard time, guys. It's late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But he was left out of uh, Dark Phoenix because of, like, now it's 
starting to get creepy, the age difference right. between them at this point. So it's like they're just letting that the movie suck anyways. kind of slide. Yeah, yeah, good. Like, let it, it got You don't terrible. want to be in the movie. Any- of course it did. It got terrible reviews. Of course it got fucking terrible. They were all terrible. I, I mean, didn't. People I, are only I liked, catching up now. People are only like, oh, yeah, they suck. I liked Days of Future Past. Oh, I did. I, did. I hated God. Apocalypse. Ivan Ooze. Yeah. Holy fuck. Wait, that was the one after it. Yeah. Right? The one with Apocalypse? The apocalypse looks right. just like Ivan Hughes. Unfucking yeah. real. Yeah, That's yeah. why you're like, buddy. Okay, Brian, Mr. Singer. Yeah. You just busy yourself with your pedophile reign <laughs> and let the movies be made by people who know how to make fucking movies. Yeah. You piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, that, was, that's, that CG was not correct. Whoa. That is not good CG. Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm just. Nothing looks better than in Jaws 3D where the shark comes oh, right out the camera. <laughs> right. Oh my God. Look, they feed. Other great white sharks yeah. to this mean motherfucker. Yeah, hell yeah. He just watched it. I like her. Yeah. She's the sassy, this one. Mm-hmm. This yeah, She's a beast. This uh, this set uh, reminds me a lot, or like the concept of this set reminds me a lot of, um, what was it, the place, uh, the Umbrella Corporation in Resident Evil. Stars. Uh, yeah, but like the the whole underground, like yes. the hive. What it was I called, like this. Right? Is this a real set? It looks uh, like it. No, because it, like it's not like a practical in the ocean set. Like I don't mean all, like that, but I mean like, like it looks like they're really oh, this yeah. thing is floating. Like when it came around. Well, they're and, in like one of those giant studio tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like that's that's a thing. This whole thing but, takes place on this little rig, doesn't it? Yeah, but most of it takes place underwater because like it goes That's awesome. Like, it goes deep, deep underwater. It goes it deep, like, bro. Deep blue sea. Yeah, because apparently this was supposed to be like a submarine. Um, Just freak her right yeah. at it. I know. Oh my god, she's firing off guns. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what you do, right? Well, what else are you gonna do when you're just sitting in the middle of the frigid ocean and you're surrounded by sharks? Drinking. Yeah, that's um, what I do when I'm not in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by sharks. <laughs> so, what do you think I do while I was there? Man, there's not a lot of people at this place. It's a party, man. You don't do that. Look at the tiki. We're having a party. Mm, Having a party. Like maybe, like, are you always on duty there, Al Cool J? Like, take off the the. You know, Mm. you're you're serving drinks and you're not serving food. I do like a good chef's jacket, though. It's very protective. I mean, literally, does he have to be the bartender? I'd be like, fuck you. I just served like you guys have been farting around, like fucking around with fucking (laughs) sharks all day. I've been cooking your food. Yeah. This parrot's been sassing me. Now I got to serve your drinks. Yeah. Like yeah, Sam Jackson's got no this problem is, with this because Sam Jackson is like the whitest motherfucker alive. Yeah, so he's just is, like, yeah, black man served my drinks. Yeah. Well, this is pro- that that's probably precisely <laughs> why he didn't want to play that role. <laughs> probably. Like, right. Which is ironic because then the role he plays in uh, Django becomes that much more. <laughs> it, it was Sam. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, what a movie, man. He's the Fuck. house Negro. Yes. What a fucking movie. I don't, movie. Even, wow. I don't feel comfortable saying that word too, by the way. Oh, I don't even <laughs> feel comfortable talking about the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the whole point of it though. Yes. It's 100%. The Did point. you see the preview for the new uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah, it looks looks good. I'm still blown away by how Bruce Lee that guy looks. Yes. That guy, I like. I feel like they got Bruce Lee. A lot of the critics were like, oh, they didn't like it. And some of them said they really liked it. And you know, I'm just going to watch it myself because it looks awesome. But you know what? That is true of every Quentin Tarantino yes. movie. Yes. They're very divisive. They're very divisive because people. I like that. Yeah, because sometimes, like, especially, like, what was it? Uh, Hateful Eight was very, like, bottle episode-y. For, yes. Like, and that's a little much for some people. Yes. Like, I don't know. I honestly think he should write a play. He, I feel like the Hateful Eight pretty much was, and so was Reservoir Dogs. Mm-hmm. Reservoir Dogs could very easily be a play. Very easily. Let's make that a musical. Speaking of which, should we talk about the Beetlejuice musical? No. It's like up for fucking Tonys. It's like. What? Yeah, there's a Beetlejuice musical on Broadway right now that is, like, doing huge i have and, wow what and they're like and i was like oh don't tell me they did that but then i was like looking at people on twitter who i like like people i respect going this thing's amazing hello beetle juice yeah. <laughs> oh my god charo <laughs> plays <laughs> <laughs> what in tar hootie oh my god what, <laughs> what a weird what a weird cast you've cast i know right what was that thing? That should have been Nathan Lane I just and remember Matthew Broderick. Every time he yelled, what in tar hootie? Oh, that was, his oh, your would like float oh, in the air. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 Harry, the, the furry the, dude from the cartoon, yeah. which is a chorus entertainment <laughs> yeah, exactly. program. And I've held the Emmy for and that. And you won an Emmy. I love yeah. that cartoon. And I, I've held that Emmy in my hands. I do have, oh, every time I, I'm a spider. <laughs> every time I give the uh, tour, I, like of my building, I always grab the Emmy and I'm like, this and it's is right there. Yeah, it's just there. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Didn't the guy? I guess it was just a group effort, so like no yeah, one yeah. person. Well, could it be won. Like, this is mine. It was like best achievement in like animation daytime. It's a daytime Emmy, but it looks exactly. You like know what should have fucking won an Emmy? What? Eek the cat and the terrible thunder lizards. Another Nelvana. That's fucking right. It is. So that's in more yep. course entertainment. That's right. Baby. I knew it was. And what else is? Droids and Ewoks. Oh or yes. E E E E. Ewoks. And what was the one? Milestone is family. I don't know why it goes into that. I don't know where it goes. I don't know where the fuck, what they say there, but. Yeah. What's her fucking attitude problem? Well, this is what's crazy about this movie. She's supposed to be the star of this movie and like the hero of this movie. And she was deemed very unlikable. I do not like her right off the bat. And that's it. And that was the whole thing with everybody. But does she have to be likable to be the hero? Just because you're the only one, you know what I mean? Like you do I, again, like we talk about the kind of subconscious of it all in a lot of these movies, and you have to be able to root for the person who right. is the hero. Like even just a little bit, you want to be yeah, like you know you're 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 always sort of rooting for the sharks, mm-hmm. but you're still waiting. You know you, yeah. you still want that one hero to yeah, yeah. emerge. But like you know? like like and we'll Holy just God, how many pancakes is he making? Right? Holy fuck! That's racist. Them some muffins. <laughs> <laughs> but. uh... <laughs> <laughs> but the um <laughs> but the thing was the uh uh what was it the only reason i'd say that was racist is re- you remember that uh saturday night live commercial with um you know so flapjacks yeah right? it was like, the same you didn't know me i was on flapjacks yeah, or whatever he said, right? <laughs> yeah it, it was like yeah it was like talking about he was oh he was because he was he was uncle jemima that's he right. was uncle jemima's mashed liquor <laughs> and he was like she's like and she's like my wife say uh my wife says, you know, you're uh, setting the black people back. It's like, oh, yeah, like they're doing backflips over you flipping flapjacks. <laughs> <laughs> that was this him flipping knobs and things reminds me of my yeah. fucking job, man. Yeah. Uh, if oh, I ever go back to the damn thing. Tracy, uh, Tracy Jordan, by the way, turn out Tracy, Tracy, Tracy Morgan. Jordan. I, I, he's yeah, the same, yeah. same deal. They knew what they were doing. Uh, Tracy Morgan just bought like a two million dollar car this. and then crashed it. No, 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 no. Oh. I heard that what had happened was that he had parked it oh. and then somebody came right in behind oh. him like five minutes later and scraped the whole side yeah, of yeah. their car. Well, yeah, it was, I, yeah, I just meant to say that yeah, the car was up. messed he up. Yeah. 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 Well, cause I, I had told that story before and I think, yeah, the way it comes off, it sounds like he went and just like smashed it. Like, fuck you car. Like, yeah. and I'm just like, he's, he's just showing Walmart what he's doing with all their money. I'm just gonna build it. Just gonna buy this car and then ram it into a wall and then go somewhere else. I love that man. Yeah, I do not feel Michael Rappo. You're right. Like they're all in this weird like in between. It's not really them. Yes. Like Michael Rappaport's facial hair doesn't look like he's even grown into it yet. He just he doesn't. Yeah. Su- even though now he would suit it. Yeah. Like Stellan Skarsgård looks younger here than he did in Goodwill Hunting, yeah. which was like three years earlier. Three it's or a pretty four years attractive earlier. cast. Yeah, that's not bad. As they always want in the in the Hollywood. I don't yeah. think Tom Jane. I'll bet you Tom Jane has the career he wants now. Yeah. But I feel like maybe I was just gonna say like I think he's underutilized. But he's yeah. he comes in he pops up in a lot of things. Yeah. And he's like I said he's I think he's in a couple like Stephen King Netflix adaptations. Yes. And uh, I think uh, he's he got, was in um he was in 1922. He was oh shit. 1922 he was in The Mist and yeah. he's in um fuck what's the one a dream catcher. Yes. With uh So he's big. That's it, a killer cast too by the way. That movie is fucked. Oh, it's fucked. But Dear Tim- God. Timothy Oliphant's in it. Yep. I, Morgan I, Freeman. Yeah, like There's tons of shit. I love yeah. Timothy Oliphant. I, I t- love yeah. him. I I can't get enough Timothy Oliphant. Oh, me too. And like, and now like we're fighting for our lives to get fucking uh, Santa Clarita Diet back because they left us in an awful place. Is and that they, what happened? I get get there. I have to get there. It got canceled, but it left me in a place where I'm like, no, you cannot cancel it here. You have to like. I'm uh, I'm uh, upset. The, the the Deadwood movies out, which I'm very happy about, but I do not think that they I'm, talk about what happened in the last episode no. of Deadwood, which really pisses me yeah. off. I am still. I've never seen an episode of Deadwood. Oh my god, I it's need, amazing. I need I need to go. It's watch amazing. It. You know, it, one of these shows that I always forget about when people ask me the best shows. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, like The Wire. Nice. I'm looking that for, first season of The yeah. Wire. Is like, have you seen the first I, season of The I've, Wire? The first two seasons I really oh, like. Oh man! The, um, but it's weird. It's one of those shows where it is season by season. Yes. Because then, like season three, I'm like, ugh. Even Barso then, comes back out of prison yeah, in season yeah. three, doesn't he? Something like that. Yeah. Or four. Yeah, I think that's right. But it's like everybody like splits, and and it's realistic. 
But it's just like, like, it's like you've got these cops and it's like, oh, now all of a sudden they all work in different spots. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But I, it's oh, like, fuck. like that first, like the group that was together when they were like when doing the wire, when they were doing the wiretaps and all that kind of stuff. It is like, you had like Lester there, uh, Lester Freeman, like painting his little figures and he was brilliant and everybody was just spot on in that first season. Like, yes, was, they that fucking was, were. that was one of the better seasons of TV. Oh, he's racing but, out of there. And that's what, what I liked in uh, with Oz. They slipped literally every person from the wire into that show. Yes, they certainly fight. And then some. Yeah, yeah. Like Oh, shit. Ugh. Is that him right there? Yeah, yeah. He's got the. Uh, oh. oh. Yeah, never mind. Oh, he tricked it. It's Aquaman. He shot his tank off to. Yeah. Oh, right in the brain. Right in the shark brain. Mm-mm. You know he's a dead shot, too, because they, they don't even have a brain. Yeah. So for him to hit them in the brain, <laughs> amazing. Well, remember, these guys have big brains. They've, oh, they've, that's right. They're smarter than the average yes. shark. Yes, I don't like. Yeah, like the fact that Rappaport isn't just like a slightly chubby, like aggressive ginger, and he's like thinking and like acting appropriately. It really pisses he's me. He's the guy with the rat in the abyss. Okay, this is like the abyss. That's I what I'm seen thinking. That. Of. That's a movie I've not seen in a long. This time. is a fucking good one. The abyss. Yeah, he's like, we gotta save this shark. This is the only one that can tell us what it's like to have Alzheimer's. Yeah. Because you can't ask them. What's it no. like to have old timers, old timer? I can't remember. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> those are sweet uh, shades. Are those his character choice? Yeah. Uh-oh. What's he all fucked up about? Mm-hmm. Yo, two Marvel guys yeah. right here. The same scene. Yeah. I wonder if they reminisced about hey, this movie. Hey, yeah. remember back in the day? We did Deep Blue Sea. Yeah. Oh, this looks like a there. Sequest DSV set. Yes. You can see Jonathan Brandis like don't swinging kill from a rope. Or yeah. <laughs> dolphin sound. I don't yeah. fucking know how he sounded. Poor was Ray Scheider in that too? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he was. I was just like, sometimes I sometimes he played the dolphin. I was just wondering if my brain was like misremembering and just adding people from other under like other aquatic based movies into yeah. into that TV show. <laughs> I was like, and then he was uh. And he was piloting Blue Thunder, right? Yeah, that's that. right. Did yeah, a, did a loop de loop in a helicopter. What's the? Uh, is there a turnover here? Because I'm thinking, like sailor wise, I'm like this guy just popped a smoke in his mouth, and I'm like, the, did they get uh, packages in so he could get cartons, or did he bring like a year worth of smokes? Yeah. No, the idea is that uh, the bulk of the staff is there all week long and then they go home. They go, right. they go uh, uh, for the week, like for it's the like weekends. A week, it's a week job. Yeah. Yeah. It's they a week home, job. You know, nine and, to five. And these guys are just kind of still here type thing. And cause there's a storm coming. Yeah. Cause that one woman, coming. Tony Soprano's wife, Girl, her. Tony Soprano's her wife, his sister, yeah, his sister literally just sits at a monitor waiting to see if a storm is yeah. coming. It's, you know, That's what it reminds me job. of, reminds me of, um, What's his face? There's Shooter McGavin in uh, in a perfect storm. Christopher McDonald. Uh, I couldn't think of his name. Shooter McGavin yeah. in a perfect. <laughs> no, but you like remember because literally the entire time he's just sitting in the final like the Doppler radar. Like, yes, these things are all coming together. Just letting you know that a storm's gonna happen. He's like, you could look at the window, but you know, oh, you could have also looked at the poster. Yeah, yeah, the perfect storm, <laughs> and then it just comes and, and it's the just poster. Like, the, yeah. And then you find out it's a really happy movie, and then it's like they have the wedding, and he's like, "Man, I can't believe if I hadn't moved here, I wouldn't have met her and fallen in love, and then had found this cool job." And then uh, Clooney puts his hand on Wahlberg and goes, "It was the perfect storm." <laughs> and that's just uh, the end of the movie. I'm surprised they people are like, booing. They're like, "Fuck yeah!" They are booing at all times, anyways. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're like injecting him or something. Something's happening. No, they're harvesting. So uh, you see, they had some issues with the likability of this one, eh? Yeah, well, because they're not doing, and that was why they said uh, one of the reasons that they had that birthday party scene, they added that scene because they were like, nobody could be mad at somebody who's th- their birthday. Just had a birthday. I well, mean, be- come on. Well, because literally the idea is you have to get behind the person who made all these sharks this way. Right. And it's like, why were you fucking around with the shark? Like, what? Well, like, you know, it's, it, it would be like getting behind the person who's like experimenting on the monkeys in yes. the lab. And it's like, look, yeah. here, I'm torturing all these monkeys. Now they're mad at us. Sympathize with me. Yeah. yeah. I did this. Yeah. It's like if, the movie where the bullfighter is the hero. <laughs> uh, just tried to stab this thing to yeah. death for no reason yeah. after tying its balls to its oh, leg. Oh, poor thing, eh? God. Right? Oh. 
God. She does look like a fucking bitch, eh? <laughs> I know. Fuck. See, you know what this reminds me of now? The, the difference was, remember Catherine Heigl with uh, Knocked Up? Yeah. She, like, complained about it. She's like, oh, they made me look like such a bitch. Then they were asked, uh... Apatow and he's like yeah the movie's improvised <laughs> it's like I don't really know what to tell you yeah she, she's a bitch she made she made every decision she made yeah. in that movie now I know there's story things and stuff like that and but the you idea you gotta get it somewhere the whole movie can't be but improvised but also the what idea is him? anyway so the idea is but the idea is that you have to like you've got Seth Rogen who's supposed to be the imbecile that's like the person is getting mad at so yeah she's gonna have to react mad right. now the way she's acting is on her Right. Really? So, I, I think, I don't know. So, I feel like that's a cop out answer. And to be honest yeah. with you, I feel like he's a cop out director. Yeah. I think he's highly overrated. I don't think he fucking knows what comedy is for one fucking second. Oh, I disagree. Three, his three hour movies where no. they go nowhere. I do, and then yeah. they're all improvised because yeah. you can't write a movie yourself. Yeah. The whole idea is that the movie well, should be funny. The script should yeah. be funny. And then yeah. you you film the script and then you can maybe ad lib yeah. some stuff. You don't be yeah. like, let's all get my funny friends together. All of them, which are all funny. Yeah. And they'll make the movie but for But you me. don't say that about Chris, Christopher Guest. He's a genius. Yeah, but it's the same. Christopher Guest is a genius, and yeah. I think that Christopher Guest has more control over what happens than yeah. Apatow does. I, I think Apatow true. is like a crapshoot, where Christopher yeah. Guest is like, I know where I'm funneling them. I think, uh-oh. Oh, oh my God. My... Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was nice a good, shot. That was a good, yeah, that was a good oh, rip. Because yeah. oh, it's not, fuck. I, I like the ones that aren't clean. You know what I mean? Like it's like no no but <laughs> no no but like it's Woo, like it, I know like, it's all sawn yeah, and gross and yeah, like yeah. yeah there's like there's no way that that arm's getting sewed back oh, on oh shit is this where shit goes crazy yeah oh man look at that chunky arm yeah but oh, I'm not, yeah. I I think that I Apatow, think Tom Jane's the hero of this really yes I agree but I I think Apatow's thing and it's like it started to happen like around like this is forty and stuff like that was I think he was trying to explore like. An humor on, in like, everyday life or something on, right? he, he was trying to explore the honesty of comedy right and that's where like it takes time it's a it's a much slower cook than like let's have zany things happen too it's slow just, it, it, i agree you can't like you I, know like oh i agree and it's just like but i mean like funny people has some great stuff in it i've never even seen it no um, that's not true i saw like an hour of it yeah and i was like no nah. But yes, yeah, yeah, there are funny things. There is yeah, insightful yeah. moments. Yeah. There's, you know, because yeah. funny people really showed you about like stand up comedy and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was weird that he's like, oh, if you're going to be in my movie, you have to do a stand up comedy set. You go like prove that you're funny or whatever. And yeah. I'm like, get the fuck. Like, why don't you fucking prove you're funny, buddy? Yeah. He's currently very successful yeah, doing no, stand up he's, comedy. He's doing pretty well, actually. He's doing pretty well. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> is he doing stand up right now? He just did a whole stand up thing. He had a, uh, he had a special on Netflix. Oh. Yeah, I think it was. I've been watching Star in Atlantis. I haven't been on. Actually, yeah. no, not, the moment I turned on Netflix yeah. the other day, I saw Fallout and I was like, done. I was so oh, excited when I Was it a killer? It was very good. I was pleasantly surprised at like where, like I thought I knew where things were going and then I didn't quite know. Like it was a, it was a good, like not predictable one because I found so, as much as I've liked some of the predecessors and stuff like Rogue Nation and things like that. I kind of knew where everything was going. Whereas this one was like, Oh, it's like this. Oh no, I'm maybe not. Oh yeah, no, it was like this. And sometimes I was right from the beginning, right. but then they made me doubt myself and that's all I need. The I just need to be they, on my toes. They shove that camera in Cruz's face and yeah. he's doing every yeah. fucking stunt. And it is amazing. Yeah. It was saying uh, even that, that skydiving stunt was like yeah. amazing to film. That was because that's cool, actually yeah. do everything. Yeah. Even that, um, that scene where he's driving the motorcycle. Yes. And he's going through traffic. It's like, holy shit, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, they, uh, uh, the helicopter they, scene. They've figured that. Yeah. They've figured those out. And the thing is like, as, as much as I like those movies and they're so different from one or three. Yes. And I love one and three. Like one is just because so stylistically yeah. the way it was supposed to be. Yeah. Brian De Palma. Three was when JJ Abrams, Abrams kind of made it and, like he, um, Brought, what's his name? He brought the new formula, yes, into into it, and now the new guy. What's the new guy's name? I'm forgetting. It's it. the guy he always uses. Now. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm saying I'm forgetting um, his name. It's though. his. It's his. Um, it's his boy. But it's, he's uh, like, yes. It's like those guys now have that down. It's like the guy who's written all the uh, 
like from uh, Fast and Furious Five onward. Yes, it's like because they got really big and they were really grand, crazy movies after that, and people are really reacting to that like like positively. It's like they just found the right people to do what which this is, is now. which it's was go uh, big and go. What's his name? The guy who directed Aquaman. That's who made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm talking the writer specifically. Oh, right, right. Because were, Christopher McQuarrie. Yes, is the guy's name. Thank you. Not um, yeah, no, for no, for for um, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. But yeah, the guy who wrote, because uh, he's the only he's the only common denominator for the Fast and the Furious movies from five on, other than the actors. Right. But like, uh, because all the the directors changed. Like Juan did four, five, and six. Juan, then, James Wan. Yeah, and then you had... Uh, that man it? knows movies. Yeah, and then you had, like, uh, F. Gary Gray, and you had, uh, uh, like, like the, the people who were in there, right? So it was, like, it's kind of all over... Like, oh, that wait. part's all over the place. But the like, sheriff's going to come up and grab him right out of the sea mm-hmm. or something or what? But, yeah. oh, yeah, man, that scene, like... like oh, it's Because what's-his-name was trying to keep up with him? Uh, Superman. Yes. And I think when you watch that helicopter scene in the end, yeah. I think that he's actually in the back seat while the stunt guy is driving it. Because you can well, see him like flying out of the seat, and, like flying around. I was like, holy fuck. I feel like from a safety perspective, I feel like that was just like a helicopter on a rig. It, right, right. Probably. Because like, it it was lo- he's like, flying around. It looks like, yeah. holy shit. Like. But that's the thing about those movies is because they do such grand things. You question, you like, you don't even question if something might be like faked. Well, apparently there, it's not. Apparently well, that's actually Tom Cruise driving the other helicopter. Oh, there, there are scenes when that's true. Right. But there are probably a lot of close-up scenes where he's just, because you don't need to be flying out. Right, exactly. Scene, right, right. Like, yeah, it's just yeah. him in the ring, yeah. right? Oh, you're like they probably, they probably got up. These probably spent like, you know, a million dollars to get up there and get a couple of shots of him like flying around. Right. And then the rest was just whatever. And, and you know what? That's plenty. Yeah, yeah oh, apparently that's he helpful. learned how to drive a helicopter and everything. It took him yeah. like two months. He's the man. Yeah. That's the power of Elrond, peeper. Yeah. Zoo, no, uh, Zanu. Yeah. Fucking Zanu. Or just oh, be a friggin' fuck. Prince of England. This is weird. That's a pretty sweet deal. You princes of England. Well, they just, uh, well, because that's, that's the cool thing is like, because they make Ooh. the uh, royal family do military service. Yeah, right? So, they say. well, they both are military pilots and they've flown their helicopters like on I'm sure and, they flew their helicopter. It was like Elvis. Yeah. You think they were gonna let Elvis go to war and die? Well, he wasn't no going fucking way. He wasn't in. Yeah, they're not in battle, but like they have gone and like I've, they've shown uh, stuff. Oh. It was uh, Prince Harry like flew like a rescue mission, not to like fucking like Iraq or anything like that, but he like up the top of a mountain type thing. Like probably rescue some lady that was stuck on the toilet somewhere. Yeah, that was an awesome explosion. Yeah, very was, big. Yeah, that was a good old Anfo I explosion. I have a feeling. A what? Uh, it was the old Anfo explosion. That's the stuff where, like, because nothing actually explodes that way in right. on Earth. Like, like um, even um, bombs don't explode with fire like that. Right. You and have then to there add was that Anfo, one. Like, yeah, there was like that shootout one, like yeah. the comet yeah. coming out of it. So you have a. Uh, and yeah. now, fucking LL Cool J is drinking all the the cooking brandy. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus, hope, man. hope you guys weren't looking for some flambe. No, like what the hell? That was yesterday. That was like tomorrow's fucking lunch. Yeah. Lunch. Touch of gray in his beard. Oh yeah. Here we go. This is the Jaws 3D scene. Mm-hmm. Tell me what that Look is. Look at Michael Rappa. What is her name again? Saffron- Snuffsters Degree. Yeah. What'd you say? Saffron Burrows. Saffron Burrows. It was definitely Snuffter- Snuffsters Degree. <laughs> That's definitely what it was. <laughs> here we go. Like here it is. It should have, they should have taken the shot right out of, oh, my uh, Lord. He's still alive. He's like, oh, what's happening? I'm going to show. Fucking right on. Yeah. Oh, and he, he's smart. Yeah, so he's just a yeah. smart shark. Also, just putting it out there, if the if the window is that weak, I where, know, right? like, because just, like, the force of water would have stopped him. He would have barely touched the yeah. window. <laughs> yeah. Well, he really whipped him. Yeah, yeah. Really whipped him. Oh, Sam Jackson seems to be the only person getting so what's here's happening a great, here. Here's a great moment. Uh, we wait for this uh, window to break. Waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting. I, I think this is the correct This scene. is it, yeah. Yeah. This is the only thing I remember from this movie. Oh, no, this isn't even what you're thinking. Oh, uh, think. okay, right, right, no, right. No, this window's going to break, and they're all going to run for it here. Um, They legitimately Ooh. almost killed the entire cast of the movie. Really? Uh, Yeah. See, are they running right from there. a real wave? It looks yep. like they are. Yeah, what was supposed to happen was, like, I guess that it broke away early. They were supposed to have like a huge head start and it broke away. And then they just like, and they're literally running for their lives. Holy in that, shit. In this shot. 
I don't know about the run up the stairs part, but like right. when it's first, like when They're you can really see the running. water's quite catching up to them. Could you imagine being the stun dude and being like, oh my God, I almost killed everybody. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, like that's how I feel about that whole gone fishing fuck. thing. Oh, that must have been still- awful. What a movie to die on. Yeah. Oh, what movie? Oh. Because I'm like, sure... There, there is a, probably a little bit of honor in dying, oh, like making a movie yeah, as a stuntman and craft, stuff like you that. Know, like, you you died doing your, what you loved. But a guy who like fell off of a boat that was on land on a movie, uh, on like a, a fishing comedy, buddy comedy yeah. with Joe Pesci you and ever Danny Glover. No, Neither have I. Not Neither in a million I. years. Oh yeah, I wonder, the, uh, he's got a little touch of gray going on the sides there in his beard. Oh, yeah. That was his decision. She, oh. she reminds me of... Uh, a little bit that right there, her mm-hmm. of uh, the girl that was opposite Adam Sandler in uh, Punch Drunk Love. She's a great okay. actress. What the hell's her name? Uh, She's no LL Cool J, but I mean, come no. on. Yeah, LL Cool J, he's had a weird co- like uh, movie. He's career. doing really well for himself, but man. like before, like he became more known as an actor. Oh, fuck. He had been in the hard way. He was in Toys with. Um, That's right. He was. He was. Yep, uh, was Robin, Robin Williams. Williams? He was Robin Williams' brother. Yep. In that, what uh, a fucked up movie that was! Yeah, he eh? was in Baps. Baps. Remember That's that like my one? favorite movie. Yeah. Uh, Halloween H two O is kind of oh, when he kind of transitioned God. into hey, I'm an actor what now a type thing. Terrible movie. Uh, Any given Sunday, which I love. That was a good movie. I, I really movie. enjoyed that movie as well. Uh, he was in Charlie's Angels. Was my, I think I meant to write Mind Hunters here, but it says Mid Hunters, and I don't Close know what enough. that would mean. Uh, Last Holiday, which is the best um, Queen Latifah movie you could ask for. Which one? Uh, uh, last holiday. I'm trying to. Oh, that's the. Is that, no, that's the one where she's she's dying. She thinks she's dying, so she spent takes all of her money and she yeah, like goes and then to she like needs. Like, I don't think that's LL. That's Buddy. That's Jimin Jangu Hangzu. Well, he's in it, but I'm saying he's, he's love also interest. in oh, it. He probably yeah. says the cook or something because he yeah, he like plays that island cook. DJ. But no, I yeah. Um, but yeah, he's uh, yeah. I think he's in like the beginning. With her and stuff right. like that. Uh, and then uh, he's in Grudge Match, with uh, which wasn't a terrible movie. Grudge Match. Oh, it was Stallone, Stallone and De Niro. And De Niro. That's when De Niro started getting like a sense of humor. Yeah. But I or his just, agent told him yeah. to get a sense yeah. of humor. My, my my only problem with that movie is that, like, yeah, did, <laughs> I, I didn't buy De Niro at all in the boxing role. Right. I think they should have found... I, I think they could have found somebody better for I that I think I remember side. they were both in... Uh, Porn. My hands are tied. Hey, what do you want me to do? What movie was that? And he was the cop still only had the big gut on him. Oh, Copland. Copland. Good movie. That was a good, that was a good movie. But, um. I'm going to fart. Whoa. Fuck. Did you hear that? Yeah. We heard that was a real, that was a real, that wasn't even on the, on the buttons. No. Any farts on there yet or what? No, not yet. Well, you should just take it from that yet. right there. Jesus. That was a good one. No. Not when you, we get smell a vision yeah. eventually you'll have cards at home and you'll scratch. We'll be like, scratch now and you can smell L cool J's fear. <laughs> Boom. You're like, Whoa, no, no word on whether or not he almost was killed there. Probably. This Probably. is Rennie Harlan. So yeah. surprise. This- What's her name? I know she dumped him years ago because cutthroat Island was a flop. If cutthroat Island was the yeah. biggest fucking action movie of the year, do you think she'd still be with Rennie Harlan? i I yes, but I don't think it's because like I don't think he she left because the movie failed. I, I think that there's a lot of stress in a relationship when things are not going well. Right. Like um, you know, imagine if your job's just a fucking nightmare because everything you do keeps fucking up. Right. And uh, and it's the. Then and then you turn, keep hiring your wife. No, and that's the other part is her career is being hurt because of your failures at the same time. So I'm sure that was a a, a point of contention, and I'm sure that opened up plenty of doors. Yeah, probably. until that's until that's the end. She doesn't strike me Ooh. as the kind of like you're not making enough money. I'm out of here. <laughs> like she's right. a fucking Mensa girl, you know. Yeah, she is a Mensa girl. Her mm-hmm. and Dolph, right? I feel like now that that thing happened, now that it, when I saw Tom Jane fall down, I was like, was yeah. that an accident? Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I'm like, is everything? Yeah, I know. It's, you know, he yeah. slipped and they just kept it. Yeah. So like, like we wonder in um, Mission Impossible, if that was a real stunt, it was, you're like, was this a real fuck up where they almost died? <laughs> yeah. Could be. Uh, I have to continue watching it. I'm not done it yet. Yeah. Which the, one? This one, I mean. Oh, yes. Right now. Yes. We're, we're in the moment. Uh, we're... <laughs> 
<laughs> we're with you live. Well, this one's kicking in, eh? Here yeah. comes the sharks. It's getting fucked up now. Once that helicopter blew up. Mm-hmm. That's a nice way to start it off. Yeah. Oh, oh he's in. Oh, he's in. He's fucking going to find the shitter. He's looking for the files. All the shark wants is the files. He's way too smart. Yeah. He's like, he's going to be like that gremlin that speaks. Yeah. You know, he's going to be like, do you think I want to eat you? I want the file, bro. Yeah. Apparently, I don't want you and all your fucking buds yeah. hunting us down so you can cure your fucking dumb brains. Mm-hmm. So the uh, voice of the parrot is uh, Frank Welker, famously a Megatron in the animated. What? Uh, the parrot's not even doing his own dubbing? No. They had to buy. Oh, fuck. They had to uh, get two different birds, neither of which were like performance birds they just right. bought like pet shop birds they because nice yeah well no it's because it was a money thing they couldn't right. afford, they couldn't afford to pay a perform like like pay for a performance just have them they, just dub them that was exactly right what so, the fuck like so they got basically one that was kind of the chilled out one and one that was kind of the freaked out one <laughs> that was basically how they dealt with it they're like oh it needs to be this one's a little freaked. more antsy yeah. so that's the one yeah, we're gonna the bird in. in there which is i'm pretty much how the mary kate ashley olsen dynamic works in full house <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the twitchy one? one? Get her crazy in. one, yeah. Go get that one with the knife. I would love this to that see scene with Uncle Jesse. Now that Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen really look different, yeah. I and would, their sister. Yeah. Well, no, no. I'm just saying I would like to have seen them in Fuller House and still only have just uh, uh, just are, like the one character, but keep switching them out and then like them like, like a little different. And yeah. they're sitting there like, "Why did you do something different?" With and just like keep going like they scene for scene, have. just yeah. keep going backwards. Yeah, fucking hey, why not? They right? were very. They actually they were interested, but they were super self conscious because they haven't acted in forever, and like since they were like children, and they were super self conscious about it. And they're like, "We don't want to do it." Right. And then probably also the fact that they're both worth like a billion dollars. Yeah, they, really they don't need much. it because of their clothing line. Because my because they're because their parents like didn't Macaulay Culkin them and like their money was intact. <laughs> right. When they came out. Oh, poor Macaulay. Right. Yeah, he's doing. That was her name. Kind of looked like an anorexic Jennifer Lawrence there for a second. Her. Yeah. She looks like an anorexic she, she, a lot of people. Yeah, she, she kind of looks like Jan Triplehorn. Like, she yeah. really looks like a Jean lot Triplehorn, of chicks. Yeah. Like, yeah, she was, she's like the person you hire when you couldn't hire for something else. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, it's just like, uh, I wanted to get, I wanted to get this person. Yeah, she looks kind of like, <laughs> get her. But yeah, she wasn't, like, I thought she was in more. I was like, yeah, Saffron Burroughs. She's in all sorts of shit. Uh, but her name does, yeah, really. what else? What so else? Like yeah. I said, so like I said, she was started in Wing Commander. Rain over me, uh, like the bank job. Boston Legal was probably her big thing. I think that's it. Uh, she was in like uh, she had a, an <clears throat> arc in Agents of Shield. Really? Uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. And then Mozart in the Jungle, which I've never seen, so that's not where my. That's it. Yeah, like well, there's other. Those stuff, are the big ones. Like, Those the, are the big ones. And there's like one-off things on shows, and it's like I don't have any. I uh, I never I never add those unless it's something that's gonna blow your mind. Like oh yeah, they were like he's one of Apu's kids or something right. like that. And look, look at this guy's now he's all mad. Yeah. At her because it's gone wrong, which is like I always knew it would. Like why are you there then? Yeah. You are said, there being employed by the same yeah, yeah. people she is, and now you're mad at her because her yeah. experiment's gone awry. Yeah. Like, that's the kind of thing where you need him to throw a lot of, like, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and then when it happens, like, I fucking told you so. Yeah. <laughs> you bitch. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, well, I sort of did at lunch yeah. at the very beginning, remember? You see how it works? I was just about to say, it's not a good idea, and then it, this guy cut me off. Yeah. So, come on, kind of counts. Yeah. That'd be best. Somebody just keeps running in and, like, says yeah. the thing. Somebody's going to have a great idea. I have a great idea. All we have to do is, and then guy comes in. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, I know, right? <laughs> Our idea is awesome. Oh, yeah, well, LL Cool J gets his own, uh, oh, my God. You know what? I f- totally forgot, mm-hmm. and I know that I have it, I or I did, is the Marge Simpson Playboy. Oh, really? <laughs> and I, I saw it today, one of the pictures, and I was like, mm-hmm. holy shit, I remember this. And Matt yeah. Groening drew it. And what's funny is that he actually drew a bunch of naked ones. And the oh. Playboy was like, we're not putting these in there. No. So they picked the kind of scantily clad ones. Which I want yeah. it. I wonder if you can order them because I, I want to no get it. Probably not. Um, you can't order retro ones? Like they don't. Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's probably popular. It might still be in like, you know. I don't know. It's hard because it's not like they'll print you a new one, right? It's right. They have them or they don't. Or they don't, yeah. Maybe so. they do. Maybe they do that. 
Maybe you if it's probably, really popular, they'll print it for you. You can probably do like the online thing, but then you'd have to have their online subscription. Right. Got all the Shit, back I want like a poster. Yeah, I don't that. Hello, Cool J gets a nice section with the shark, eh? You know what this is, though? Um, they found, because he had a pretty small part, and he was so likable in the movie, he ends up essentially becoming the hero of the movie. Pretty much. He's in and a lot of it. He's in a lot of it, but they literally just kept adding shit with him, and it, uh, this ties a lot to Saffron Burroughs being so unlikable. Is so they had to there, rely on the other characters. To, they had to be like, oh, okay, well, Thomas Jane's the leader, and like the uh, and preachers the one you look to like he's the one who you're cheering for and like that's funny thing, they right? said that like, she was supposed to be like the star yeah. mm-hmm. and they just, i think they still could have like yeah i still you know you needed like there's a lot of things that needed to happen from a script point of view because right. literally all that happened was i just kept fucking with these things and now we're all screwed right and no so we you know, we they all yeah. fucked with them mm-hmm. no literally like, like while the other people are all just like his job was to corral sharks. That's Thomas Jane's job. He's doing nothing with the science. Okay. Well, so I, the like, only person I will give yeah. a pass to is LL. Yeah. He's just, he's a, just cook. a cook. But they all knew yeah. what they were getting into. Yeah. Come on now. You know what to blame yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Whoever signed the yeah. check, that's who to fucking blame. That's who you blame. And that's Sam Jackson. The shark knows how to Actually, use the door. Actually, it's Ronnie Cox. We can blame it all on him because he has no lines. <laughs> exactly. They should have the sharks shot like in the raptor where it's his fin opens the door. Oh, shit. It's pretty smart. Yeah. That reminds me, actually, there's the Raptors game on tonight. Oh, that's right. We'll see what happened in yep. that game later Tonight's on. the night. Whenever you hear this 85 months from mm-hmm. now, the yeah. Raptors won the whole fucking thing. Oh, God, I hope that works. No, this is and they give the cup to Drake. They will. There's not a cup. It's Drake. Just Drake. They give the big old golden basketball. He'll get a ring. I feel like he'll get a ring. He'll make one himself. They gave him a fucking uh, like 747 jet for free. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, two hundred million dollar jet. They gave it to him for free. Holy fuck! Better not get that. Son of a bitch. Shark. Uh, Okay, now. Yeah. Now, fuck you, shark. Now, yeah. What did that parrot ever do to you? What the fuck? But also, this is where you blame LL Cool J, because why is he bringing a parrot underwater? I know. What are you doing, bro? Parrots don't go underwater. They go in the sky. I know. What are you, you know? doing, man? But Come on. Come out of that oh, shark there, parrot. He's got his ice cream He lives, doesn't he? What's that? You'll see. Put him in the oven. <laughs> oh, he's going in. This is, uh, this is what I want. I, this is what I think about doing every day. Jumping into an oven? Yeah, stick my, <laughs> stick my head in the oven. <laughs> It's an electric oven, though, so it doesn't do shit. Just makes me you keep, sweaty. Keep, keep believing, though. Don't yeah. stop believing. Oh, yeah. I feel like he's worn that in something else. Like yeah. that outfit. It's the punish. It's basically yeah, his Yeah, pretty much, outfit. right? Like You just paint a skull on the front, and then you're good to go. I like, though, it's it's the mo- to me the most useless wetsuit in the world. Yeah, well, because, the herbs are... Well, yeah. No, well, yeah, it's like, yeah, let's let's have a wetsuit with exposed yeah. arms because the whole well, point I mean, of a wetsuit is to keep you dry and right, warm. Right, exactly. And two things that can't happen if your arms are exposed. <laughs> also, water can very easily get into still, those That's sleeves. the point, but I mean, you're still getting water in regardless, but... Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. still in, like, your body heat is, like, kind of staying yeah. wet and, like, everything's better. It's like the fucking survival suits, man, uh, on yeah. the boats. You just try and get in one of these fucking things. Oh, holy yeah. shit. You're supposed to be able to get in one in, like, 90 seconds. It's like, holy yeah. God, like... Set it up like the firemen do. With like They've got, like, the boots. That's exactly what it is. Oh, is no, it? that's exactly... Oh, that's yep. awesome. Yep. Yep. Good. Yeah, unroll the thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. That's all I thought about every fucking night I went to bed. It was like, the boat's going to go down. You know what I want? Just, um, they have those, uh... They have blankets that look like tortillas and legitimately they look like tortillas exactly and then you make you yourself mean. a burrito. <laughs> so you just, you just lay down on it and you just roll over till you're burritoed up and then you pull a little right. thing and it inflates and then you're just a floating burrito. You're a little burrito boy. I think it'd be great. Okay. So wait a second. If this was all made up, how would they mm-hmm. come on? Like on the fly, they're just like, now you're going to cut through the top of the thing and the shark's going to be after you. Like this yeah. seems like it was planned. Like they're not making this on the fly. What are you talking about? What is planned? Like, like the like, movie? No, no, like no, they no, wrote no. it? No, no. Oh. Like, like in a scene. No, exactly. Yeah. Like, like this scene. Like you said that they added scenes for him, but it seems like oh, this yeah, would yeah. be something really much oh, no, to do this, on the fly. This very well, like I'm not saying every scene he's in by himself was that, right? I'm just but saying, they just like, gave him some more. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I feel like that little bit where he like picks up the Playboy and stuff. Right. Like that. It's like, yeah, let's give him a little joke here. Like, you know, 
because it's easier to do. It's like, like you won't see them add like, Hey, let's make him likable scenes. Like when Ooh. it's everybody else there too. Right. Cause you're not frigging putting everybody on the call sheet. So you can make LL cool J look good for five seconds. <laughs> you know, you there's another shark movie coming out. Um, I saw it. there's always another shark movie. Coming oh fuck. Out. Sharks hate this. They hate lighters. <laughs> Fart my bird out. Uh, oh, cause he's got the gas on. Yes. Which what the just fuck? <laughs> putting it out there, he would have. Yeah, he, putting it out there, he would have been dead. But oh that's come all, on, it's all good. Because like, just imagine how quickly that fire actually would have went. It would have yeah. enveloped that entire thing and sucked all the air out of there, so he couldn't have opened the door. Yeah, we're already uh, we're already into sharks that have been uh, yeah. d- d- you know bio you know DNA up and yeah, yeah. blah blah blah. That's where you're drawing the line there, that's, right there with that explosion. Yeah. I'm really trying not to the super protect. sharks. Not the, I'm just for trying to protect. Like you said, he's just a fucking laborer in this thing. <laughs> I he's know, right? Like, what the fuck? He deserves this. Yeah. Guarantee he's being paid the least. No, you know what? He's a cook. Yeah. Tom Jane is being paid the least. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Tom Jane, you also find out was a criminal. So he's probably yeah, he is work absolutely paying. Too. He's being paid the least because the job. cooks always get paid. Hella. Yeah. And then, well, and then on top of that, like everybody else is the friggin' scientists. Yeah. So and I guess it depends on the grant. They might not be making any money. No, no, no. <laughs> Sam Jackson's making a lot of money. Yeah. Well, he'd say his I company. think that bitch face is making a lot of money. Yeah. She's probably got some. Money. I think that Tom Jane is just a Wrangler dude. Mm-hmm. He's like mid range. Yeah. And uh, Blondie there is somewhere down near Tom Jane, but a little above. Okay. And the cook is third. Yeah. No, second, second. Yeah, second. You got to not seriously. They're always, they get paid huge in these kind of jobs. You got to, yes. you got to, you got to eat. Got to eat. Oh, he's freaking out. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Get up in her Looks face. Like, New York style. Get up in the face. Looked like he was going to do that. Remember that God awful clothesline in, D- in Dawn of the Dead <laughs> where he like knocks over that one zombie. He's like holding the hammer and he it hits the swear. It's yeah. like, it's like I, I close, but under here I hit yeah, yeah. you, right? Like, ugh. yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like your, your fourth rib. Hits him and then, but yeah. you swing your arm like a monster. To be- <laughs> Tom Jane, like close-ups of Tom Jane, do not serve him well. No. I think he is a handsome man when he you is. get him in a full shot, but then you get close up, like you can see like the weird lumps in his face where it's like <laughs> the weird, weird lumpy like, face. Yeah, well, he's got like that kind of like he's got the cheekbones and his cheeks kind of come in and then his jaw kind of comes back out and it looks kind of alien when he's, you get that close up. Right? Uh... See what like look there, he looks fine. They all look fucking weird. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. This is this, this is, is great, the this is the spot right here. This would have been With a great his, this uh, is something that was in like one of the commercials, and this is something you need to leave the fuck out. Yes. Of, because this would have blown literally everybody's mind. Yeah, well, I don't think they showed this, did they? I remember seeing this, but like a quick, quick shot. Right. And I don't even think it was very like apparent who it was, who is getting. Right. Mm-hmm. I want to see like, cause he has a whole thing about how he like rescued people in Mount Everest or something like that. And like, it was like this big, I would love to see. Ah! Like, like, <laughs> like that is so crazy. That's just hella CG. Like, wow, so it's bad. bad. But like, that's what I'm saying is CG is now to the point where the shitty movies can have CG that good. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, like, that's your Piranha 3 double D like, type sure, thing, right? Yeah, well, Piranha, yeah, that was great. Yeah. Those titties are as fake as it gets. <laughs> And what was it? Was it three double D or three D? Three where, double D. No, no, but I'm not, the, specifically I was going to say where the piranha like gets up in the snatch. Ooh. Okay. Hear that? Yeah. That's my that. fucking answer for you, man. Yeah, yeah this is going to be a great episode. <laughs> Sharpening if farting. People, if, people are, if, if people are looking for something out of like entertainment value out of their podcast. Shark sharts. Yeah. They don't, you know, they, they never show that. You know, like when you look in a fish tank and that one fish is taking a big shit and it's just hanging there? Yes. Like an upside down kite string? Ew. And then like another fish comes along and kind of nibbles on it? Ew. Kind of embarrassed, but kind of not? <laughs> it's kind of you into know? it? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we see some uh, some shark shits? Yeah. Why don't they get up there? Where are they? Get, get up top here, man. Yeah. I like my favorite thing because now Rappaport's doing his... Um, it's exposition machine where he's just like, (laughs) if if exactly this much water comes in, then the whole thing's going to come crumbling down and blah, blah, blah. But it's all based on bullshit. Yeah. So it's like, like that's like the worst 
that's the worst version of exposition. It's right. like everything I'm saying couldn't be true in any um, in any world. But what if a shark comes underneath and smacks us in just the right place and we go flying yes. up in the air and then we flip upside down and land upside down right on top of him? What then? Like the um like what what's it called? I was gonna say Elrond's uh Elrond's speech uh to all like the gathering of like the men and elves and all that sounded more plausible than what they were oh, just talking about. Man, I think meant Elrond Hubbard. No, you know what? You, you made like the exact Elrond same mistake speech. when we did Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I can't help it. I watched a lot of Leah Remini. No, it's just you don't pay Elrond. Any, no, it's just you don't pay enough attention to anything. That's not true. <laughs> Bob, come on. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> So one thing you've never noticed, you've never hosted this with the same person twice in a row. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Like oh my God. Ellen DeGeneres it's was here. a chicken. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that chicken did great. That chicken was up for an Emmy. Wouldn't that be bad? You start listening back to the episode and you're like, <laughs> and you're like, no, you fuck up. And no, he is just like, oh my God. <laughs> it's so wicked. Oh my God. You, that's it. Don't be a sh- Don't be a, you know, mad when I. Was his character's uh, name Tom? Of course, he can't. He can't do anything else. No, I just, I, I just don't remember. And then that he just doesn't react off. to anything else. But Tom, yeah, I hate that. That's like the old Tony Danza can't play any like he like forty things, and he's always Tony. <laughs> and it always made me sad. I'm well, like, because they talk to him on set, and he's just like, huh? they're like, oh fuck, just call him Tony. That's what I'm. Yeah, it's so sad to me. I just, I'm not even gonna look it up. So wait a second. Like, they're like a thousand levels down. Yeah, they're way deep, and then but the idea is that the sharks are now like flooding the levels, right? And they're moving and their way that's out. That's gonna pull the right. entire thing down, which will allow them to get over the fences. Oh, fuck. because the fences are attached to the to the whole. They should have floater fences. That's what I'm saying. But then they could have just gone under them. Like, there's a lot of. <laughs> There's a lot of problems <laughs> right. with the design of this thing. Yeah, I think so too. They really but, didn't think. But they were really ideas. all dependent on the sharks becoming mega smart. Super so smart. Really, what are you going to do? Which you so should, the, when experimenting on anything, you yeah. should be yeah. ready. You know you that when they test makeup on those poor animals, that they're yeah. ready for them to grow monstrous and fucking no. break out. No, they become super sexy. And yeah, you, that would be an amazing one. We test. Uh, we're testing. Uh, <laughs> Makeup on, we're testing makeup on like apes and stuff like that, and then they start like raping all the people because you know, they're too sexy. You know, it's and like uh, you go home. I just, I don't know what it is, man. Ever since we started putting makeup on those bunnies, I just, uh, <laughs> my wife's like, why aren't we having sex anymore? I don't know. Leave me alone. Or <laughs> Snyder will loop us over and over. I'm hard as a rock. <laughs> a movie about killer bunnies yes <laughs> i only think about banicula which is a cartoon now it oh that's right yeah oh he got burned oh fuck probably for real yeah uh, no, he got burned by oh yeah this, this is tom jane i always thought this was tom jane's movie personally yeah yeah i i did too and i think that like i i don't know i think he's kind of like the han solo where right. he was supposed to be the luke skywalker you know because he's like the I, I feel like there was a period where he was going to die at the end. Right. I don't know that. He still fact, might, people. He still might. Yeah. But I feel I feel like that was like the thing is he would be like the sacrifice at the end so that the hero could get through type thing. Oh, I'd be up that fucking ladder so fast. Oh, oh my word. I would walk up it like oh, like Batman yeah. style. Just yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, my God. Yeah. Just even thinking about this is like, I dude, I have dreams. Yeah. I've had dreams. You do? Yeah, sometimes. What? Yeah. So it's it's like killer whales. It's always animals. Like, like It's always killer whales. But it's water, and I got to go in there, and there's killer whales swimming around. And yeah. I'm just fucking terrified. Yeah. And this movie kind of, like, I'm like, ooh, this movie kind of gets me there. I, I think Marineland fucked me over for killer whales because all I can ever think is, like, the ones that have, like, kissed oh, my mom shit. and my sister. Oh, I remember that. And well, I, I wasn't there, yeah, but I remember no. you telling me. But, like, so I it, was that whale. Oh, my you God. You son of a bitch. You, <laughs> you brick. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, to me, like, to me it's just, like, so, yeah, I, I think of them as friendly, but then I also, like, oh, yeah, they had to beat that whale incessantly yeah, to get him to do that. Yeah, that's why his fins all flipped over because oh, he's, he's like fucking, like. American Ninja Warrior. Oh, type. my God, they're pulling a, like, a. Uh, a little bit, yeah. too. Yeah. You're not good at die. <laughs> we'll have to do that. Did oh, you let her go, Gabe? We got a lot of Rennie Harlan to cover still because we oh did Nightmare on Elm Street Lord. 3, but we got to do part four. That's where I'm at with the old lady there. Yeah. yeah. We're on then, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And then we got to uh, 
And we got to do Cliffhanger. Oh, fuck yeah. I got like, on VHS. So much we should watch it on VHS. You know what? I want to do Daylight, too. I liked Daylight. I liked Daylight. I thought was Daylight fun. was good. Daylight was a fun movie. To the ending. I, th- I thought they kind of like put themselves into a corner. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You're like, she made it new. No. This would have been a fun one. Let me take three. your first half. We'll go for a beer. Yeah. Oh, right okay. in the crotch. That was... Uh, so, so the blood was probably period blood? Oh, yes. Yeah. The shark's going to spit her out. He's a gross period blood. I would also probably put out there, like, I again, I, I, I don't know this for sure, but I don't think that the amount of blood that comes out of a person would be enough to, like, make all the water red that way. I, I don't know. I don't know. It also, I don't know either. There might be a density where it's floating to the top. Blood. There is a lot of blood, but, like, I don't like know. Like, to make it all blood. But I'm just saying yeah. that that's a lot of Tom that's, J. Butchot. I was like, that's a lot of blood, but that's a lot of water. I missed you know? Tom J. Nass shot. I never missed it. <laughs> this is what I was doing all day before you got here. I, I, I work night shifts and I, people think I sleep during the day. No, I just freeze on that shot. Tom Jane's and I butt. just stare at it. This reminds me of uh, what we, uh, Judgment Night. We should watch Judgment Night. I was literally just talking to somebody about that movie and how fucking good. Like, that is an underrated yeah, movie. Yeah, man. I just remember this ladder, the ladder here reminded me when they're going across the buildings. Yes. I, yeah, I forgot about that scene altogether. Oh, my gosh. Look, uh, he's look, look at him. He doesn't even look, look like, like him. A baby. He looked like uh, Splashes. <laughs> like uh, like baby, the little baby. Yeah, from, and he was uh, in that Aerosmith video. Uh, and um, what's it called? He looked uh, baby Bon Jovi. I like to call him baby uh, Bon. But the uh, what was it? Event Horizon, another movie we had Event to do. Horizon. Oh look, who saves him? LL yeah. Cool J. Constantly saving him. Oh uh, yeah, bring better bring your laundry. Uh, I, that uh, that would have been the best. He closes the door. You find out he didn't rescue any of them. He just dipped his clothes in the, in the water. He was doing he was like, laundry at the time. That, that would have been the He's best. Like, yeah, the shark's gone. I'll do some laundry. Uh, I don't know where, where is anybody there. Nah, fuck. They, maybe maybe they have that shot. So it tilts down and they're like, oh, come back. So they he can doesn't want to. Okay, want in, ca- in case everything's okay, he doesn't yeah. want to get in trouble for not doing the laundry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You know they're going to blame me for this bullshit. You're fucking right, right man. Like, doing... fuck that. He is good in this movie, though, eh? Yeah, he's good. He's, the thing is, he's super charismatic. Yes. That's like the star. It's kind of how The Rock came to be as an actor, right? It's like he he didn't have the, the chops at the beginning, but he was charismatic enough for you to buy. Oh, yeah, Who? I could, The Rock. Oh, he still doesn't have the chops. No, but. but he's uh, still charismatic enough yeah, yeah. to. Yeah, but I mean, but also consider, like, compare things now with things then right he, he has made leaps and Yo, i thought he was his best acting was in that michael bay movie uh pain and game oh yeah that was go. his best acting man so you were you're saying i'm sitting there i'm like what fucking michael bay movie was he and i forgot that was michael <laughs> yeah um it was, but, he was like michael bay trying to prove a boy see i can make a movie for 50 million they're like that movie should have cost you five million <laughs> yeah yeah but still it wasn't 250 million oh uh, well yeah. you proved your point i guess yeah. well it was after you added the rock in and cg because he refused <laughs> yeah. to do your movie yeah exactly why is Megan Fox bent over that motorcycle for half the movie? <laughs> she knows why. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> we all know why. Uh-huh. Are they going to save the fish, or do you think it's sinking so the fish will just make their own way? It'll be great. Do you just break? <laughs> yeah, they just take the top off so they can just like come out when it overflows. Right, you don't have to worry about the fish. Yeah. It's so like right. the hamster cage. Somebody better get over to the other side there no. and get the real hamster. You want, a ca- you want a hamster to die. Hey, these uh, power bars are a thing yeah. back then still. Or yeah. then, now, presently, twenty years, guys. Think about everybody that. has to wear like a fucking wetsuit. At least he gets like a cool character costume. They're but all like in dirty old wetsuits. Let's think about this for a minute. Twenty years ago, we were in high school. Oh, that's hot. That's oh old. yeah. Oh, he's throwing a little Ben Gay on. It's like my, really do anything. You've been like soaking in water muscles, the whole time. Like yeah, my muscles, I got some deep tissue issues. <laughs> maybe the salt. Maybe it's because it's salt. Yeah, it's Ben Gay. He, that's what I'm saying. He's just he's getting. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal comes in. He's like, "Use icy hot. Put put icy hot on your Buy a car from the general. Yeah. yeah. Like, how much does the general pay him for that? Uh, too much. It's like, I mean, like the commercials are so cheesy, but they got Shaq. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, I feel like he's not that hard to get, but I they definitely they definitely threw money at it. They, like like, all. I guarantee they the most money they've ever spent was to okay, get. He did to me. I'm sorry. The general costs way more. Yeah, he ain't yeah, cheap. CG he ain't cheap either, man. That's He's a like, real guy. You can. Down- he looks CG. I was gonna. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> you meet the general. Like, whoa. 
It's a little known fact. He's the twin brother of uh, of Mr. Moneybags or whatever from uh, Monopoly. And he got all rich. And then the other guy joined the army because he was like he was a black sheep in his family. And and then he rose through the ranks. But he still can't impress his parents enough because his, <laughs> his brother's a billionaire. Yeah. He's just a lowly millionaire. Yeah. No, he's not a millionaire. Piece he's, of shit. He's he's a good general who's not like using his status for like political or like lobbying purposes. You know, he's not like a Colin Powell type thing. Would you really be joking around like that? Like you're probably going off to your death. And he's gonna make this homophobe like joke. Just zip me up, please. <laughs> I know. And I'm like, well, are you for real, bro? Like Oh man. Yeah, you're probably next. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there's the thing. Probably next I, I'm of the, I'm of the opinion that it's like once you're down to this, it's like all you've got. Like these are your last chances to be yourself. So it's like, yeah, just do you do you. Like, I, I'd be freaking. I'd be absolutely freaking the whole have, fucking time. I I freak short term. Once once I've been in it for a while and I've been right, surviving. Think, yeah, yeah like, I might right. be too. I might be too. Actually, yeah. I still got to say my line, dude. I got to yeah, say my line. Which would be? Upon, if I know that my yeah. death is about to, you know, I have to say, I always thought I'd go out like Elvis. <laughs> I feel like in the afterlife, I will get some points. Nice. That'd be the best. You, like, you come in and like St. Peter's like, up top, bro. You <laughs> exactly. Nailed it. That's what I think. Exactly. And then you're like, is Elvis around? I want to tell him I said that. And he's like, he didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> he's at the shack. Yeah. He's at the old snack shack, and he's been yeah. there for eternity. A.K.A. hell, because hell is just a, f- a fucking food kiosk that you can never get to the front of the line. I've been there. Yeah. I've like, fucking been there. I want a mini bag of veggie sticks. It's like being at Wonderland. Like, remember yeah. when you went to that poutine? It was like an hour. I'd have been uh, fucking out of that line so fast. Like, fuck Well, I that. didn't stay in the line. Oh, was, right, I was right. told that, right. the, like, somebody came out of line and was like, yeah, we had to wait an hour to get this fries. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not. That is insanity. It's been much you better. You could I will literally give, leave yeah. the park, walk yeah. across the street, yeah. order fries at the restaurant, get them, and come back. Yeah. But for what it's worth, you know what I do now? I go all pizza. The pizza's well priced and it's it's very good and it's good and it's the best pizza from that <laughs> chain that I've ever had. Yes, it is. P- uh, if you go to, I, I've learned this. Yeah, let's hear it uh, from somebody who worked at a Pizza Pizza. Pizza Pizzas. If you want a franchise, they have to have the same recipe, the same oven. Mm-hmm. If you have a Pizza Pizza at like the beach or yeah. Wonderland, yeah. It's not the same like jurisdiction and you can have different ovens. So when yeah. you get pizza pizza from Wonderland, it's awesome. I agree with you. Yeah. It's fucking great. It's good. Yep. I, I used to, cause I got really sick of it. Cause it was the only, like it was the thing you got when you were at college. They had a pizza pizza. It was just one of those like warming kiosk things where you just like threw the pizza. Pe- they just brought you pizzas and then threw them, threw them in right. this thing. So like they were always like vaguely warm and not, and I just got sad. I was like, Oh, I'm so done with these. Things. Right. But then, and we've been eating them there and I'm like these are good it's good yeah i remember uh, sitting there the one time and i i didn't have any money or anything and uh this uh the sorry that your sign there was just i just just literally noticed that <laughs> um and these like my the people i was with went into the line the lineup was huge mm-hmm. there's a like a three dudes or two guys and a girl and they're eating yeah. a pizza they have like two slices of it the whole thing yeah like, the whole cardboard so there's yeah. got to be like six pieces seven something on there yeah and they would start to walk by and i was like yo yo i was like are you going to the garbage with that they're like i was like can i have it they're like yeah take it i was like right on and then when everybody came out i was eating a whole pizza you're a dirty hobo (laughs) they looked clean enough that's all they were licking the other pieces you have hepatitis all of them of course of course i had them before i mean like now they they didn't even bite it just me biting their pizza linked them to it for sure uh, the no sign idea. that Todd was referring to, just because he forgets this is a, an audio medium, huh? uh, it's a uh, zombie chasing a farmer, and it says, eat locals. I like that. When did you get that? I don't know. I bought it a couple years ago for Halloween, and we never took it down. Ah. Whoops. It's always been there? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a clock that goes over top of it, so you don't always see that's it. That's probably what did it. Yeah. I don't remember it poking down like that either. No, nah, that's always that's I think you literally just put that up. I don't yeah. think you've ever even lived There's here. actually a sign on the other side. I don't remember what it says, but I'm not getting it. So we'll never know. Why are the fuck like? Do they have no scuba gear? Like, no, they're, they're Poseidon adventuring. Like everything is just like swimming. Yeah. From- oh, what a great movie! That's a good one. The original is better than the remake, in my opinion. But Kurt Russell's well, in the remake. I love. Him. I agree. Uh, and you get to watch Richard Dreyfus drown in the remake. Oh, he man. does that like. 
<laughs> like you, you know that thing. Like it's, it's, it's really the most br- like of all the ways that somebody dies in a movie. It's like the most brutal to me. It's like in Mario sixty four when Mario drowns. I know. And you're like, oh, well, the first time it happened, I was like, is it? I was like, is my childhood just yeah. destroyed? Like, it's like you can see his eyes hemorrhaging. Oh, yeah. He's, like, he's just, You can see really, like, the same, right? Yeah. Then you, have to watch, then you have to watch his funeral, and you watch his mother crying. <laughs> it was like, mother. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Is this the same shark the whole time? No, there's four sharks. Oh, fuck. There's, like, an alpha, and then there's. The omega? Probably. You, oh, my God. Woo, right in half. Fatality. Oh, his foot's... Oh, oh that was good. It was Quentin Tarantino, a little twitchy. Yeah. Um, Ooh, shit. Apparently, there's a uh, a lot There's a lot of foot stuff in this movie, and it like, ties to apparently Rennie Harlan having a little bit of a foot fetish, and somebody like asked him about it. There's a guy, I don't know why I like feet. They just do their little things. And, Wait, is he from somewhere? What was that? Well, he is from somewhere, but no, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely from somewhere. You made him seem like he was like from like Norway or something, right? You made no. him seem like he's like... No, but he... Well, he is. Well, yeah, Rennie Harlan. Rennie Harlan. He's Swedish. Oh, good dude. Yeah. That's exactly what he just said. Yeah. He's smorgy <laughs> Which is me doing my... more. That's more my, like, uh, Andy Samberg impression. Smorgy 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 smorgy. Oh, that's I thought that was your Swedish chef. It was that... No, because he has very... Sp- uh, sp- yeah, we haven't seen bort, her bort, before. Bort, bort. bort. Yeah, like when he's has, after Big Bird. She is very... Is that uh, turd floating? Oh, that would be amazing. Just like you've overflowed the, the sanitation, so you're literally just like swimming through everybody's shit. Ugh, God. Uh, Here we go, under the water. Uh, this movie's a little too real for me, man. It's yeah, water and like sinking is, and like almost yeah. drowning. And I'm just like, huh, yeah. that shot of Tom Jane with this coming up, I, I'm just like, oh my God, like, you know, just breathing. Fuck, man, this movie kind of makes me claustrophobic or something. Mm-hmm. But that's kind of nice. Like, the, uh, like, it, it's something that a lot of movies, like, horror movies are the ones that need to do it the most. But, like, these thriller kind of things, it's it's a good effect. It's a good, like, a good mindset to have your listeners in, or your viewers in, right? Well, I don't know why I said listeners. Because they're like, listening to us. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. The only way to take in a movie is by listening to it through us. That's exactly right. We're, we're the funnel. Yes. Despite the fact that we spend, there are 20 minute periods of movie that you won't know what ever happened because we started talking about it. <laughs> no, because they're supposed or, to watch it with us. Part. I know. At the, at the very least, I hope that when it comes out, like I would love to hear somebody's take on this, but I would hope that it's like, oh yeah, that came about organically. <laughs> Not like just like Joe's like, oh, Joe, I saw something purple. And it's like, speaking of purple, <laughs> speaking of purple, Grimace is purple. And I had the McRib the other day. <laughs> Gave but, me the shit, the mix shit. Mm-hmm. I tried the fish and chips, which I don't think is available anywhere but Canada. Really? I don't know. How was it? Well, fine. It was McDonald's, it was, right? Yeah, it was, was like. craving it the other a day. Dry, a little dry. I, I, I would rather spend the money right now on the nuggets with the uh, <laughs> buffalo sauce. Ooh. That's what I'm all about right now. I'm I don't get, eat. I'm I haven't actually the, eaten at McDonald's a lot. Like, I I've eaten, like twice in the past like month. Yeah, same. Yeah. I, I haven't even. I'm not even that. But like I said, I was craving it. I couldn't wear. Really went for their salty fries and a Big Mac like the other day. But you know what can you do? Mm-hmm. Now I'm starting to. I'm getting rid of the bagged fries. Yeah. And the chicken nuggets, which is the big thing yeah. for me. I really, it's like the go-to meal. Yeah. But they're he- hella processed. So like you know, we can. Yeah. Do, I can do it myself. I can make fries. Yeah. Way better for you. Cut up some chicken. Yeah, and yeah. that's what I do. Shake and bake them. It's like you just made your own chicken fingers yep. or whatever the fuck, I'm, right? I'm double bread them, baby. Double bread. Ooh, Fried, yeah, chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken, right. baby. I liked uh, the batter they used to have. Oh, for the love. His brain is out. The, at Logan's, they used to have, it yeah, was yeah. like beer. But there was just this different batter to the chicken fingers. It was just the same. It was the same batter we used for the fish batter. That's right? what it yeah, was. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. I really liked that. Yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, what kind of batter was, is that? I was gonna, I was gonna say like a beer batter or something. It is, but it's like, essentially uh, a beer batter. There's no beer in it. It's um, I I can give, tell you exactly how to do it. It's no big deal. It's just friggin', uh, it's like flour. Yeah, I'll I'll get you the stuff. Cool, it's, cool. It starts with flour. It's uh, for for more. Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> Because our talk, I, I make it. I make it all the time for when I do fish and chips here. Oh, I used to like that man. I think so. about that often actually. 
I remember that, and I'd just be like, I, like it threw me off because I was like, well, you can't do like buffalo fingers or something like that, right? Because it would get too soggy. I was like, you got to do. It's got to be straight up. I wish I had a waffle maker. I want to make chicken and waffles so freaking bad. I have a waffle maker. All right, bring give me your waffle it's, maker. It's you. There's what a son of a bitch making waffles is man. No. Fuck, like I want that one that like you get when you have continental breakfasts at uh, mm. or not continental, but like the you know when you like you, you they have that little mini breakfast buffet at like the um have the little shitty hotels right yes. now. Yes, like like the um what the came and think of the ones. Like a continental breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Well, but like they have the like waffle. A bagel and... Like, no, but there's the ones where like they have the waffle maker and stuff and like you pour like the waffle batter into the cup. Yeah. And then you pour the cup into the waffle, but like into the top of the waffle yeah. maker and then you flip it over and those are good waffles. Oh them... shit. She's got some shit. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I'll scare you off my titties. Yeah. I, I always wonder mm. how the, I like, well, I don't always know what, how many of these scenes are in the script. Like, she strips down to her sexy panties. You know it's Renny Harlan. But, yeah, that's true. You're going to have to get naked. That's the only thing that will stop you from being shocked. Yeah, exactly. Well, the idea is that the, the yes. wetsuit is rubber, She's which is not. grounding. Yeah, there's the, no fucking way. The, like. the, wetsuit, the, the wetsuit is not rubber. It's a neoprene, which may or may not. But it's also wet, which means that the, uh, the electricity would travel around Woo! it. Oh, she, there's one for her. There's a yeah. kill. So, yeah. Uh, the sharks in this movie, they die the exact same way that they die in order of the Jaws movies. Yeah. Blown up. By, like, oh, really? Like, electrocuted. Like, all the oh, way I wonder if they did it on purpose or it just worked out that way. They definitely did. They That was 100% on purpose. That's weird. I can't. Yeah, that's not a... <laughs> just, let's just say weird to be like, oh, we should make the sharks... Yeah. We should make four sharks and all of them yeah. should die. Mm -hmm. But there was only one shark in Jaws. Yeah. Well, but it's but each movie had a different shark and they kill each uh, shark. So it was from each different movie. Yes. And do you remember in Sh in Jaws 4 that there were the idea of it was that there were like the the shark knew the family that's and it was three. like going that's three. That three. I'm pretty oh. And Michael Caine's in it. No, that's four. He's is not that in four? 3D. Yeah, that's and the four. shark follows him on purpose, yeah, yeah. like he to knows. Like, yeah, he goes to another land. Yeah, like it's not even. It's not like Amityville. Or what is he? Fucking Michael yeah. Amityville. Yeah. Fucking yeah. shark following yeah, there him. You go. Oh, he's like, well, you get your titties out, huh? Well, uh, yeah. All right. Well, this has definitely gotten better. If this shark, if you're gonna take me, shark, I'm gonna get yeah. naked. Well, he grabbed yeah. the other girl by the puss, so you yeah, know exactly. He bites off just a single tit. <laughs> Just uh, now, your bras will never fit again. <laughs> enjoy buying. <laughs> enjoy it is enjoy buying your chicken cutlets. <laughs> <laughs> you know the shark is pretty smart. He probably would be something to do some fucked up like that. So the shark comes out. It's Harvey Weinstein and starts like just rubbing on her. <laughs> he was uh, a shark, so that uh, works pretty yeah. well, actually. That's I kind of want. I, this is now the time where I want another Entourage movie. Because, like, to have all that, like, behind, like, the kind of behind-the-scenes crap from these movies, I would love for the, because they had, like, a Harvey Weinstein character. Right. Um, Maury Chaikin, was it? I okay. I can't remember. He, and, like, he just would, like, go out of his mind and stuff like that. I would love to have that same character. Now he's been the head of the studio forever, and he's, like, me too and you find it, like, all these people are getting me too right. out, out of Hollywood. And, like, so he would, so they had, like, Harvey Weinstein spoofed, like, yeah, in, yeah. The, in the show. Yeah, they did a thing where he was, um... He was basically the guy he was going to buy the rights to, uh, like, Vince's independent movie right. that he was doing. And then they ended up deciding oh, last minute. grabbing hands. Like, they're like, we're going to give you, like, like exclusive rights to it. And then, like, so he was so happy. And then they decided last minute, no, we're going to fuck you over and, like, do this. And then, like, they were like, and then he's, like, just foaming at the mouth, like, you motherfucker, I'm going <laughs> to fucking kill you. Like, and he, he was so good. Like, I was like, that's. To me, that's exactly who he is. As oh, a person. probably. With maybe a little bit of Joel Silver in there. <laughs> <laughs> who played him? Who'd you uh, say? Maury Chaikin, the Canadian actor. I know that, actor. yes. Yeah, I think I'm right. I know he was a Canadian actor, but I think I have the name right as well. Oh, fuck. Because I know Maury Chaikin is a Canadian actor, but yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I know the I'm, name. I can't I'm pretty sure. sure. All right. This is, I can, this is something I can look Oh, up. fuck. Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, this is one of Todd's favorite things. I will talk during this bit. He likes whenever people go underwater, he holds his breath and then attempts to go through. But he's not a cheater because he's also uh, swimming. He's like doing arm motions and stuff. So uh, I'm going to take a photo of this so you can see that he's actually um, doing it. Uh, I've, I'm bad at this. I have no, you see you've wasted too much there. I have really terrible lung capacity for such things. I like, if I jump into the pool, <laughs> oh, you're dead. If I, if I jump into a pool and my feet touch the bottom of like the deep end, I, you're dead. I feel like I might <laughs> die the entire time. I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, and like, it just feels like the, the surface is getting further and further away from me. And it's just, it's too much. Fuck. To I died. Oh, I don't man. have the lung capacity of LL Cool J or Tom Jane or that girl. Oh, yeah. This is Maury Chick. That's Maury Chick. Oh. So, yeah. I could see so, him being Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, totally. To- Maury totally. Canadian. Yeah. That's, I just I uh, said that multiple yeah. times. Wasn't he in uh, Maniac Mansion or something? I probably. I don't remember. But, um, yeah. He's fucked. They fuck. got lung capacity on that, man. Yeah, man. Shit. I did I would... not last very long. Uh, oh, fuck. No, LL. No. You're like the only one I want to see live. Oh my God. He's totally yeah. oh, fuck. No, you know what I would love? Then you look under and it's Michael Rappaport. Like he's got him by like the butt and he's just like <laughs> swinging him around. He's like, and then you find out this was a big elaborate prank to teach her lessons about doing experiments on sharks. And that's why you don't do experiments <laughs> yes. on sharks. The one armed guy that was uh, <laughs> selling scars card. That's, that's his origin story. <laughs> that would be amazing. Stabs him in the eye with a cross. That just worked right out. I just thought, right, it didn't even. Well done. How the fuck? Oh, he's going to lose his legs. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to stab a shark to death. Yeah, that's my thing, man, is like, you hear hear about people. Oh, that is. I feel bad for the shark there. I know, right? But good religious tones. That was something people have uh, pointed out to. They're like, everybody who sins in this movie got eaten early. But like, if you count smoking as a sin, because he's sitting there, he's smoking, and he gets his smoking arm ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then the, that's why I died because I yeah. smoke. But then, the, like, he was in the mouth of the shark, <clears throat> but he's with God. He lived. So he was. He was free. exactly. He paid but, the toll. His parent. But here's, but here's the problem. Here's the problem. Sharks are godless. Whoa! Right. So well, unless like, they believe in God and the sharks. Oh, maybe they do now that they've developed their own complex religion. Exactly. Based on, oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they don't get into organized religion where like money and like tax exemptions get into, come into right. play, then I'm totally on board. It's the one I thing I, 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 that's the one thing I try to get across. I'm like, I'm not a religious dude because of organized religion. I'm down with it. If anybody's like, I've got this Bible and I love it. And I think that these are the, this is the way. Right. I'm like, cool. I'm down with you. But then there's this person. Hey, guess what? I got this Bible and it only cost me ninety nine ninety five when I bought it from this like evangelist. And it's because I bought that, that I'm going to heaven. I don't like, I don't like you as much. <laughs> yeah. I have a problem with you. Where's <laughs> the big uh, rumble? Is that it? No, I thought there's there should be the last, you know, there needs to be the big. Yeah, they we killed three sharks. Well, or I'll tell you this. Well, then, there, and I said there's four, so I guess we'll figure that yeah, out. Yeah, was that three? Or? There was three. Uh-oh, oh, yeah, we got Big Mama coming up here now. Oh, there's your titular line. About the deep blue sea. About that deep blue sea. Is that her name, Deep Blue Sea? That'd be amazing. Deep Blue is her name or something? No, her name's Deep Lucy. And the reason that she's... Because her she's, cavernous no, vagina? It's deep and it's loosey. <laughs> it's loose. I like the set right here. It looks good. Yeah. This looks like just the Waterworld set. Yes. After, like the one that sunk the yes, first time. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I uh, liked Waterworld. Uh, I thought it was a good movie. The ending I, was, uh, you know, a little bit. It was uh, It was very cheesy. It was, but I, it was like, it was, it was something new. Oh, they like the I, Jaws like ending. the idea and like I still my favorite part of the movie is still when the Universal logo just turned to all water. Yeah, like that was my favorite part. I thought I had some neat shit to I it. Was just I don't know. You know what? I think that every time I see Dennis Hopper in it, I just think of like he he's basically playing Bowser again, <laughs> <laughs> or that character from um, what was the Land of the Dead. Yes. He's the only person to say zombies in a freaking yeah. Romero-based movie. 
these zombies. Oh, like just like, oh, oh there God. they are. There he is. There she is. I feel like he improvised it. And then when they said, no, don't say Oof. zombies, he's like, fuck you. What else are they? Yeah. He's right. Come on. Yeah. No, By that rough. time, I think that people would have different names. Yeah. And somebody would eventually call them zombies. Well, that's what, um, what's it called? Like walking dead was good for that. Cause like some people call them walkers. Yeah. Some people call them biters. Grapple some biters. Call them that's it. Yeah. Uh, some people just call them the dead, which is also fine. Oh, he's going to, uh, he oh, he's getting through there. I, I mean, know. it still looks all right. Yeah. For the CG, you know, you yeah. can tell it's CG, but it's not that bad. I guess for the time, it's, it's like, it, it doesn't hold up in that this was a blockbuster level movie yes and it's got b movie level like current day b movie right. level cg oh geez uh -oh. here you go girl oh that's uh -oh. probably a disease that looks like oh. the fakest blood that is she's gonna die of tetanus in the yeah. within the minute yeah the shark's gonna have none then the shark won't even want to eat her yeah. i don't even know if tetanus can kill you but this case sure it can well. for how bad that thing was I believe tetanus can kill you. You can get like shock. Like you're, you yeah, get yeah. like uh, your blood can get bad on you, whatever the fuck you call it. Good old bad blood. Yep. The old bad blood. Look at her. She's going for her own yeah. slit wrist swim. <laughs> oh, it's a big Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> I just had the most horrible racist thought. <laughs> like leave it to the black guy to take a nap during all this. <laughs> <laughs> Say about the shark, right? I'm just gonna close my eyes. <laughs> I'm just gonna close. They're gonna take like the bottom half of Michael Rappaport and slap it onto El Cool J. <laughs> that would have been the best. Seems like he's holy Jesus. Look at the fin on this fucking thing. Yeah, he's the big one. This is the Jaws. That just looks like a boat. Not it should have been like I know what how long this movie is and oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, this one should have been a big scene name. like where they stick onto him and then he pulls that. You know what? They're gonna do the Jaws. Yeah. yeah. He might as well pull. The, what? He stopped. Uh, They're gonna he knows she's got tetanus. Yeah. If I bite you. Do I I'm get gonna, tetanus then? I'm going to catch what you got. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah, she gone. is dead. It was a conscious decision made shit. way after the fact to kill her. Damn. Um, I, I have actually the information. So. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, Saffron Bur Burroughs troops supposed to be the hero. But yeah, after the first cut of the film, Rennie Harlan thought like she was basically the evil genius. Right. And that was what they decide. So they decide they so he's like, because she's the evil genius, she has to be punished. Oh fuck. And like he he believes right. you know, he believes the person responsible, like most responsible, needs to be punished. That is couldn't... the way it usually goes though, right? Because yeah. the bad person usually is the last one to die. Yeah. Because the hero lives, the second last, or kill, yeah. the, the last person to die is the bad guy, and yeah. then they get their comeuppance. This is like, it's like the Night of the Living Dead layout, where you have, like, that you have, towards the end, you have, like, the worst bad guy die, and the good guy die, and then the one hero kind of walks away. Right. That's not, that's, it's not quite what happens in this one. Right, but, but that's usually yeah, the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like he's, he's surf shirking, man. Yeah. Woo! That would feel pretty amazing. Fucking A. I should be holding my breath right now. No, don't. It's too big a shark. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what difference that makes, but that would be the uh, my favorite right. would be if because he's not in this and it would have just been a funny weird thing because he's praying while he does it. It just goes right through Thomas Jane into the shark and kills him. And he's like, ah. I like right through the shark into Tom Jane, which I think like, it just did. I think it yeah. ran right in the leg. Did it? I uh, think so. I think he's stuck to uh, it. Oh, it did! Oh yeah, shit, yeah, it did! Oh my god, uh, it's going. It didn't get him. It caught his wetsuit, oh, like his pants. But either way, but either way, uh, it would be fantastic. Uh, I was just thinking the same the same idea in um, what was it? Saving Private Ryan. You know when um, he's just gonna hold on. Yeah, to it. take your time, asshole. He's just like what? <laughs> like I've got this. I've got this metal cable. I've got this battery. Yeah. I wonder what I should do. <laughs> but um, no. But anyways, I was thinking about um, Saving Private Jesus. Ryan. There you go. Like it took him long enough there. <laughs> I like... know, right? But yeah, Saving Private Whoa. Ryan with um, Barry. Pepper, yeah. when he's like sniping and he's like, the Lord is my shepherd. It would have been the best he's doing that and he misses every single shot. <laughs> <laughs> and he like misses by a lot. He like shoots like a little French girl. Like just, oh, she goes down. And then he like shoots out the tires of like, 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 a, like, a, like, like an one town jeep. over. Yeah. yeah. 
And there's oh, one guy thank literally, God Tom Jane's alive. There's one guy literally standing there, and the bullets are just landing around him. <laughs> it's like not even close. He's like drinking his tea. Yeah. You did it, Tom uh, Jane and Ella Cool J. Mm-hmm. Looks like he's got like a weird like. I know he's got some dirty like, burn on his face yeah. or something. Some looks like some hamburger meat stuck to his head. Oh God, I hope they have a sequel to this movie. And that, that, that's <laughs> but now. But like at the top of like, here. Once the universe, yeah, our universe hears this, the the campaign is on. Yeah, Deep Blue Sea Two. Well, it's new hope, last of the Jedi. It's my hope that when we announced it last week, that people were like I got to get out there and get a <clears> sick <throat> copy of this movie. And it's like, <laughs> get on iTunes before it disappears. Do you it's hear the big, the new one? Was the it? new one is that oh, uh, now. the guys who made uh, Game of Thrones yes. are apparently writing new Star Wars movies. That's and correct. there's a huge thing to stop them because they did such a bad job with Game of Thrones. They, they're going to fucking ruin Star Wars. They did such a bad job with Game of Thrones. It's one of the most popular TV shows yeah. in the history yeah, exactly. of television. Exactly. That's how bad it That's was. That's right. What do we want? Uh. Starbucks? fucking cups in every shot of new star wars oh fuck. fuck are we doing here that was that was funny though like they were nitpicking to the because they found a water bottle in yeah. the last episode too i'm like okay guys and that like, makes it bad right that, yeah. that took me right out well of they it. they just the one thing about the season that i would say is because they had to squeeze a lot into so few episodes i'm like maybe 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 you uh the next shift so like, yeah, what's going on? They're still partying. They're like, yeah. <laughs> the party we missed um, when the, everybody got on the party boat. We missed Rennie Harlan's uh, cameo. He like oh. walks across, but it's like just it's not really a big point. This has one of the great songs. It's from LL. This is an LL Cool J song, and he's saying my hat is like a shark's fin. We're going to turn this up. I'm actually going to play a little bit of this, which I don't usually like to do. I don't know how much we can legally play, but fuck it, we're doing. This is fuck. This is a big fuck Does you to Will Smith. get more for also bringing the theme song? Oh, I'm sure he got paid a amount of money to do. Like, it's not like he got a bonus. He probably got paid two different, you know, salaries. But like, this is this is like like a Simpsons like from the Z to the O to the double R O. Like, it's, <laughs> I love it. This is my kind of shit right here. I know, right? It's just Yo, shark attack. <laughs> But yeah, it's half man, half shark. Is like, what is like he he's writing about a movie that we don't even know about. So we're gonna take that down. Half man, half shark, motherfucker. I can see underwater in the dark. Could you mm, though? Mm, 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 like yeah, Saffron Burrows. <laughs> mm. So the budget was sixty million dollars on yeah. this movie. Uh, it made seventy three point six five million dollars. Mm. So I uh, take. Which, good if you don't advertise it or something like that, I guess. Uh, it opened number three behind Runaway Bi- Bride and Blair Witch Project. Nice. To kind of put you in a place of where all these things yeah. were. Yeah. Uh, it went down to number five the following week when The Sixth Sense and Thomas Crown Affair came out. Um, but I beat Mystery Men and Iron Giant, which also came out that week. Iron Giant, great movie. So also, uh, Mystery Men's good too. Yeah, and then uh, it went down to number six when Bowfinger came out on week three, and then it dropped out of the top ten. At that point. Uh, so where do you put this in your shark movie or your well, just basic monstery movie kind of? Uh, Davy Jones's locker. Davy Jones. <laughs> that's where I'm sticking this one. About as low as you can get. Yeah. It's like, but like it doesn't feel, and maybe because we talked through the entire Probably. Thing, like monsters, but like it yeah. doesn't feel like a lot happens. In nothing happened in like it. It's just like, it's like nothing. It's we, we let in the idea that perhaps the sharks could be smart and then they proved they were smart and then everybody died and then yeah. all the sharks died. It was, just... it was more about like not, not drowning. Yeah. That's like what it was mainly about. That is the sharks yeah. ran amok and there were, you know, there were, you know, you're going to drown. Yeah. I think the, the biggest scene from a standpoint of, uh, like intensity or like that kind of tension that you want to create in these movies would have been, when uh, LL Cool J was in like the hallway and the water was like that, his chest and there was a shark. I'm yeah. like, that's scary. That is the best part of the whole movie yeah. was him jumping in the oven and, and like, him farting around first and they don't yeah. know the sharks are fucking around. Because and, you can't move at your top speed, but they can. And like, it's, I, like, I, I like man, that. I got a thing, man. I got a thing with the water. Yeah. What a fucking mind. way to go. They say it's pretty peaceful. Yeah. Like, what do they know though? 
Yeah, I don't like who's really been all the way drowning and they've been pulled back, you know? I mean, every I can't swim. I'm constantly, I'm just like, yes, you can. Uh, yeah, no, I can't can swim. You? I can swim fine. Yeah, I'm a good oh, swimmer. I thought you were too. But I was like, what the fuck? I like? was like, no, I was just saying, I can't swim, but I love wave pools. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck doesn't? So every day. Ooh, uh, that, that's a name. Hey, when you went just, to Wonderland, was the this, the water park wasn't open yet? It was open, and there I I saw one person who had like their towel around them, like they had been in, and it was so because it had been raining all day, so it was quite chilly. I think they're going to be. They uh, there, but yeah, I think was, this is going to be a bad year for their money. Yeah, it's going to be it's, apparently the whole summer supposed to be cold and rainy. Yeah, which I dig. I'm tired of this fucking humidity <laughs> bullshit. I don't like, well, the only problem is, is you'll have days that are hot, but then raining. And then once it stops raining, it will be so humid. Like you're going to get way Tropical. more humidity. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, Tropicalia. I almost like mispronounced humidity. I was like, mm. humidity. Mm. I'm going to be, it's going to fucking Hume. rap about sharks. All right. Let's get here. Fucking give me some, a. give me some, some shark rap for extra credit. Shark raps. Um, mm. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, oh, I gotta get the um, juice flow. You go, go. This is a sharp beatbox. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was the guy drowning because the shark. That's always my favorite. That's like a like a fat noise kind of like. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of some good. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like movie based. Oh, and I'm trying to work on like. Uh, you know, uh, to live with a shark is sort of a curse, whether it's a mako or a nurse. I don't know. <laughs> like, I just, <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. sharks be attacking an underwater station. This ain't no games. We ain't playing PlayStation. Shit. Did you say station twice? Yeah, no. Yeah, that's fine. Well, come on. It's like a, like a come it's on. You know, you know, if, if fucking 50 Cent can rhyme nympho with nympho. Yeah. You'd be a nympho. I'll also be a nympho. I'm the, like, oh, great. Nice nothing makes 50 me cent. angry. But there's a lot of people who do that. There was, um, fuck, which one? There was a Red Hot Chili Pepper song. They did the same thing. And I instantly, I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> like, this is, this is your only job. Your only job is to come up with a different rhyme for that word. And you just couldn't be fucking bothered because you had like two fucking teenagers <laughs> on your dong at the time. And your design music supervisor LL Cool J. Well, who the fuck else would it have been? Yes. Shock him. Could have been Mo Henry. He could have been uh, promoted from negative cutter. Mm. I know to positive you, cutter. You, <laughs> 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 I <I'm>, love life. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you would go the, the same. You would go the, down the same thing that I was. I want to go down. Uh, oh, he LL Cool J is in a lot of these. Ooh, of this course he is. Robert Palmer song Johnny. Well, I. Uh, Johnny Nash should have been Johnny Cash. That would be better. What? what I should have rhymed station with ration as in ration. Oh, that wouldn't work. Fuck. That would have been worse, I think. No, because I would have uh, fixed it up. You know, because <laughs> sometimes the rappers will say the wrong thing. And go, oh, I meant this. For a couple rappers do it. Uh-huh. Like me. Yeah. Will Smith taught me how to rap. <laughs> yes. How do how do you rap? I just, uh, I understand the plot of the movie and then I <laughs> attach rhymes to it. Exactly. And then, Fuck, uh, I love movie-based songs. Oh, man, they're so good. What a I just, uh, my my favorite songs are the, like, like fight to survive, kumite. Kum, like, it's just all about, like, it's vague things that you would yell at somebody when they're right. training for a boxing match. I always yell kumite. Oh, plus the max, <laughs> you've got the touch. Like, yeah, it's all that kind so, of stuff. Uh, right? I just want you to, yeah, we're, we've given, uh, we're giving 110% out here. Yeah. We're firing on all cylinders. We've uh, we're going pedal to the metal this season, and we're taking our prisoners. The team's playing hard. I'd like to thank God for this <laughs> yes. opportunity. Yeah, we can get it. We can get a song going. It's better than our rap. Uh, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're gonna avoid sharks for a little while. <laughs> I hope. If I hope. one of us dies in a shark related incident, you're going to get a freak. Todd legitimately asked me, like, we're, sit- we're just taking down from shooting our video stuff. And he's like, why the fuck are we doing this movie? <laughs> and I was like, and it literally, I was like, it's the anniversary. <laughs> and I thought it would be a fun one to do because it's I the 20th it. anniversary. And, yeah. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, I have to explain myself just so you know how the yeah, relationships go here. Uh, as always, guys, we love you. Uh, 
join us at miscastcommentary.com. Email us podcast at miscastcommentary.com. Uh, call us at one two eight nine seven six nine three two eight eight. I'm pretty sure that's the number, but look it up on our uh, website or Twitter if you don't know, uh, or just on the notes for wherever you're getting this podcast. That's the right, there too. By all means, call, leave a message. We will get the message. We will play the message. Uh, if we're doing a mini episode, I'm leaving that line open, and we will pick it up Fuck if it, it is called. Yeah. We're gonna start. What I'm gonna start doing is when we do our uh, coming attractions episodes, I'm going to announce that we're recording, and then that that the number is live, and that the people can call in and do that sort of thing. Um, so look forward to that next week because it's not this week. That's too late for that now, and this is uh, <laughs> this episode is airing in August. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. So, so deal with that. Yeah. So next week we're gonna do another coming attractions episode, and then we're gonna have our best of. Oh, sweet. For the year. Really? Yeah. This Holy the shit. This is the end of season three. Right now? Well, starting next week, we're gonna we'll have our own little kind of talk about things next week, and then Whoa. after that, we're going to. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have our best of season three. Season three, baby. Yeah, we did it. And then hopefully we'll start, have a good best of. We're gonna start season. Oh, I'm four. sure we said so much talking that you can cut a couple things together. Fuck. Yeah, you owe. Uh, yeah, you owe me a couple of movies to start off the season, though. You said oh, you, 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 had, you had to give me some picks for movies. Oh and got, shit, uh, Mac and me. Okay. Well, we'll get we'll figure that that out offline. Um, um, so, anyways, uh, find us on Twitter. I'm at Miscast Podcast. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's at Miscast Todd. Instagram at Miscast Commentary. And yeah, so that's good for now. Uh, please tune in next week, guys. Uh, we'll be talking. I don't know whatever's in the news. But we'll not the talk news. in the talk. Not baby. the news. We're talking like the useless. The news. real news. Like maybe like a TMZ. Like uh, somebody's got their dick out on the last, <laughs> on the on the Vegas Strip. Probably me. Like oh God, I hope it's me. <laughs> I, hope it's me. <laughs> I hope it is you this time no, too. You know, you know why though? It's because like I'm trying really hard to get good at using the dick hole in my underwear for when I have to go pee, <laughs> and I'm not great at it. <laughs> so I'm, like, even made I'm constantly like digging around. No, I have. Does anyone actually ever really I do, use that? I do use it because. I I find it it interrupts my stream less if I've got that elastic pulling up under from underneath uh, th- then I like pull it up <laughs> no here's what happens if, if I have that going but then it's like okay I'm all done and then I go up like there's that little <clears> extra <throat> pee that then mm-hmm. just pours out at that point yep. if I'm wearing khakis or something like that then it's, it's all over it yeah it looks like I like put a gallon of piss in my pants when that happens <laughs> so <laughs> it's still the regular half so, gallon so that's why I'm always using those things but then some of the underwear I bought like it's so <laughs> wide like the hole is like touching my left leg but then the other side of the hole is it touching is my right leg so i have to like snake it around it's like a big and, gaping like it's yeah. like it's like a big mouth and your penis and balls of the tongue blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. and it, while i appreciate <clears throat> this underwear company's faith in my penis size i can assure you that it is a lot more work than they think it is um so <laughs> i used it once i stuck it through the hole during sex once because i thought i had a disease and i was like scared that i would like give it to the person and it turns out i did and I gave it to them double time <laughs> because because I gave it to my underwear first. Oh, uh, why do women believe me? I thought you um, were just. <clears throat> I thought you were just gonna say that was like your way of being orthodox, like fucking through a sheet for like orthodox Jews. Oh yeah, that counts. Yeah. Boy, yeah, boy, All, right. <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you next week. We're gonna talk some shit. We'll see you then. <laughs> not your... like not like this episode where it was nothing but <laughs> nothing but business. Know, right? All right, see you next week. <laughs> This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.